Georgia Bun. <laughs> no, 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 Wally and Mouse. This part. This part. This part. This part. This part. This part. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to another fabulous edition of the JBP, and the JBP boys are here to serve it up for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> serve it up serve, serve it up, up Roars I didn't like honey either <laughs> Honey is one of my new shits now I just throw it in there Not to you niggas Damn we can't be <laughs> honey To no. the Spotify listeners <laughs> Yeah Okay That's when I'm about to get sassy on them <laughs> Rory's got his little What type of shirt is this? It's a little Amy mm. we, we mispronounce it but is it We just call it Amy Is it Amy? I don't know how you pronounce it So it's Amy, Amy. So, it's Amy. so it's Amy yeah. now <laughs> Amy. New York, New York niggas in the fall always want to put on their cuddliest. Yeah, it's co- my cozy, it's cozy, my cozy little, little satter box, man. You know? Just snuggle up fabric. Yeah, I never know what the the, the pipes and uh, parks are going to do with the heat. So <laughs> neither does he. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> true. It's either going to be brick or project heat in here, so I never know. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a good medium today, though. It's yeah, right. I like it today. Yeah, yeah me too. Um, what episode is this? 298 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, a.k.a. Rashid Sunflower. Hey, Sun. man, how you doing, brother? I'm well. Right. I'm cool. You got the Beatles <laughs> on the shirt today. Okay. Oh, you know I mean? I just try to rep a little bit. <laughs> okay. A.k.a. J-Bone. You know A.k.a. Wreck. <laughs> can, can, you be, can you be a Muslim and like the Beatles? I'm not a Muslim, bro. I Rashid don't. Sunflower is a Muslim. Um, no, he's Your just, alter ego has he's another religion. He's on the path of finding himself. He doesn't, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a long path. Yeah, it's a long path. Uh, <laughs> Park, long Parks term. is here, half of Parks and Rec. Yeah, man. Parks and Rec. Okay, <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, that was here. a couple episodes ago. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Uh, what's Rory's... Uh, what's Rory? Sunset. Duh. Duh. Come on. Sunset is here. How could I forget? How could we forget? I know. No, the people on the train reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fan. That was that's a joke amongst my friends. Like, we're still, we're still on the end train right now. This Relax. Is, this entire podcast is a joke amongst your friends. Yeah. True. Erickson is here. STD Savon is here. Scream Man is here. Gentlemen, how's everybody feeling? How's the week been? Feeling great. It's good, man. Yeah. Why it's don't good. I even bother to ask anymore? It's not, it's not <laughs> too cold not today. Where, where are we starting with? It's not too cold. <laughs> The weather. Well, he, we're he with always the weather. gets right to the weather. Yeah, that too yeah, cold. Man. About fifty yeah. outside. Well, breast, but but nice. I don't know. I don't think there's enough gold. I don't think there's enough gold to sustain the amount of money we actually have, which gives money no value. So I don't right. know. It hasn't really been that great of a week. Mm. Talk your shit. Get in your capitalist bag. Mm. <laughs> know what you've been reading? <laughs> yeah, YouTube conspiracies. What have you been reading? <laughs> you've been on a YouTube deep dive. Yeah, you know. <laughs> with 300 views Start with not the gold like, standard today. Oh, yeah. Not even like a real conspiracy. Actually, I like that topic to start with. What you mean by that? <laughs> That's some funny shit. That's some funny shit. <laughs> what what do y'all want to start with? Uh, we talk about record sales off Mike and Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cuz you doubting me. And I don't like that shit. I take that personal. You should. I got I got Ooh. more. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a record of how Maul performs when when he takes something personally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's an eight. Exactly. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a whole sliding scale. Yeah. It's disgusting. Man, I didn't, I didn't, oh, he must have, didn't, didn't read the review. It was. <laughs> Rory. It was filthy. filthy. It was those, gross. Those were Maul's lies. Doing some wild things. Those That's like shower three times a day. Phil. <laughs> those were lies about me, bro. No, they wasn't. They were lies. They were they were nasty lies about me. It was a smear campaign. Yeah, man. You know how it is. You know how it go. They yeah. have to get me. Maul made me have to step it up, man. <laughs> have you stepped it up? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're so in the wait, gym though. You're working Maul, out. Maul did it for motivational purposes. On that too. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucked up though, cause you be having intentions of stepping it up. Don't go that way. It yeah. never goes that way. No. no, don't do that position first. Yeah. Then come, on, yeah, no, yeah. come on, come on. You knew what this was gonna do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially like around nine p.m., the liquor hitting good too. You know, you're right in that middle. You're not drunk. You're not sober. Like mm. I could kill it mode. Yeah. Three more drinks in. Oh, Eleven p.m. Nah, so I maybe give, I'll try tomorrow. I give, I, I give a little hint. Oh, I feel it right at the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I gave a little precursor as to what's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get all the way in your bag. This ain't going to, you know what I mean? Nah, it's like a quick <laughs> ride. It's going to yeah. be right what's, there. What's your least right. favorite position? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not what I want to start with, by the way. <laughs> Tell me what's not fire. Rory, come on, lead us, lead us, lead us uh, we were discussing, on this uh, uh, audio adventure. We were just discussing record sales, and Maul said, yo, I could sell we were just, a stack. Nah, all right, I'm done with and, Rory. We were discussing an artist that we can't talk about because no, for, talk about for it. three years we've been trying to avoid talking about this artist, like telling the truth, so we won't. But for some strange reason, Maul, a.k.a. J-Bone, a.k.a. Wreck, a.k.a. Half she, of the Mixie Boy. Gash me up. Gash the Mixie up. Boy uh, legacy. Gash me up. Go ahead. Is that shit. what's doing it? Is that what gassed yeah, you yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, Ocho. Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> Maul is definitely Ocho. I'm not Ocho. There's an Ocho already. <laughs> for, some, for some reason, Maul thinks he can sell a thousand records. I do. In a week. I do. He definitely could. If not more. I do. Yeah. Well, it's good for a good 6,000 with a nice single. No, no you we're talking about just, drop. just drop. Just the cold, cold drop. surprise drop? Yes. First of all, oh, Maul sure. has been telling yes. you for Maul, three Maul, years by the way, should stop dropping singles. So you think he's coming oh, out? Oh, that's a good point. No, yeah. dropping he's his coming single. With a, that's a good come point. Come on. Just a Lucy. He's feeding the streets with a full project. A you can't Lucy. just give him one. It's just a Lucy. Just a test, see if they're ready for it. Uh, the warm up Yeah that's uh, all Y'all joking now But Maul said With a lot of conviction That he does think He would sell more Than a thousand copies In a week of, of, of something I know I think I he know, would too I know a thousand people personally. And Rory said He thinks that too I think right That I could or I think no, Maul could No that Maul could Yeah I think Maul could sell A thousand copies Why do all three of y'all Think that Cause I know a thousand people <laughs> On my phone That would buy my My phone <laughs> A thousand people will buy it Just to hear what the fuck He's even that, doing Yeah right? like On some what Alright come Have on Have you ever seen The master on, class <laughs> That sells seen. out. He don't, got a, sell out. He don't yeah. got a boyfriend. Yeah. Maul, do you, <laughs> Maul, do you have a boyfriend? It's definitely selling a thousand dollars. Yeah, he don't got a boyfriend. <laughs> he, don't, he don't know the vibes. <laughs> I don't know why Joe don't think I could sell at least a thousand. I think you are making the, mis- the, the mistake that a lot of people and just artists make early. Which is what? I think you sleep on how difficult it is to sell one of something. Um, no, not that. I think you would quickly realize that half of the people in your phone that you think are going to give you a purchase, they won't. Oh no, I'm, I'm You're right I about that. I, I'm not. Like it's, it, at least it's tough to sell one of something, and I think of until course. you attempt to do it, you just don't know how hard it is. That's all. So what would you need? Fifteen, one hundred fifty thousand streams, right? I don't to know get, the math is on that. that. A thousand? To, to get a thousand, I think so. Something like that sounds about right. That's not easy. I'm watching new artists out there try to get 150 thousand. That's streams, not easy, yeah. and it's tough. That's all. Yeah. Ain't got that fire though. You know what I mean? Oh, Morgan's fire. <laughs> okay, so okay. Well, that's, 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 that's different. Fire yeah. out. See, that's the, that's what you didn't yeah. put into the equation. Yeah. You just think I'm putting some bullshit out. 100, 150 streams is one paid download. Okay. So someone that's good at math do that. Oh, so he needs a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he needs a lot. Oh yeah, no. I'm, come on, I'm, so I'm but no, come on. Maul is hand to hand. He's he's giving out physical copies. He's not relying on the streaming. Yeah, man. I'm back to the trunk with him. Yeah, on four fifth. Maul gonna call chilling. up. Call up hip hop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hop's gonna A and R it. So. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And you know you're getting the whole feature. Come on, man. Y'all True. See, Roy, Roy, yeah. sunset. See the yeah. sunset. <laughs> saw a sunset out. Saw a sunset out the other night at the live grassroots yeah, show. We, hey. We ran into each other. Yeah. Yeah. We were in the same vicinity. How was it? I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good, uh, really good live show. Dope. Thought Jinx killed it. Thought the Grassroots guys did great. Who was the special guest? I know Brandon said they was having a special guest. Jinx. Jinx. No, I think Jinx was on the. Oh, group. you're talking about the guy that uh, was blacked out yeah, on the yeah. flyer. Yeah. Somebody should have been there. Yeah. He should, <laughs> All right. He should. He and, sh- and, shall he, he rem- remain anonymous? Well, he was, he, and then this was his coming out party, and his name is Wilson, and. I just think he says things from Castaway. <laughs> they found Wilson. Yes. Oh, okay. They found Whoever him their fourth from mic home is, Just probably needs work fourth micing. Okay. Live, live, and that's and that's a transition. And that was for his anybody. first. I don't fucking know. It was all of their first shows. I think. But that was his first time on the show. I don't. I'm not. No, he's been very on the show. informed about. He's been on before. Yeah. All right, listen, fam. We don't care. Wake the fuck up here. Enough. We don't care about Wilson. Now, what else? What else we got? Who Wilson was. All right, we don't care about ten minutes about Wilson. Fuck Wilson. Damn it. Where we at? Well, we don't have ten seconds on Wilson. Uh, So what's important? All right, nothing is important this week. No, we we have established that some good music drops. We'll get to that. It's not much going on. Some 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 music did drop, and 
They can say we're a music podcast. I, I have a, a I have a power review. <laughs> Already? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks after I have after a, it stopped. I have a power review and power is not even on. And you boycotted it. When it wasn't on. I'm back again now. <laughs> now I'm back. You back on? I'm Just back, like that. Yeah. I'm back with this bullshit. Joe, man. Joe is such a Twitter guy. Boycott <laughs> someone is not even on. <laughs> But I don't want to start with power. Come on, let's talk about music. We, we haven't started with music in a while. That's true. Let's start with music. Uh, Janae dropped something. I know you barged in here and told all of us. No, I didn't. We were looking for topics. Kicked in the door. <laughs> Janae! Janae dropped! Yeah. <laughs> with Big Sean! <laughs> with, with Big Sean! She's talking about fucking! <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. Let's talk, let's talk about Janae dropping. I don't think anyone else is talking. Well, that's not true. No, they're talking. Yeah, they're talking about it. They're talking about that Big Sean verse. Yeah. They're talking about a Big Sean verse. More or less, how, yeah. How do y'all feel about the songs when people date each other? Like, y'all still, like, fans of that? What you mean? Like, if artists are dating each other, are y'all fans with them, like, making a bunch of... Historically, stuff? it hasn't really worked out that mm, great. That's yeah. why I'm asking. Yeah. I like Everything is Love. I like the 2080 yeah, shit they did. He's still going... Yeah, I'm still <laughs> still going. Yo, he's still going with that. And I will, I will. He will go with that one. It's a good album. It's, it's, it is a good that album. Was it really good. is. I like that album. Yeah. But I'm just saying in general, like, do y'all... You like that one and not 444. Shut up, Parks. <laughs> Parks, Parks. <laughs> I do like That's kind of crazy. I'm done with it. <laughs> that is kind of nuts. He just hates the way it Because 444 is better than all. Everything is Love. Yeah, for Yeah, sure. I agree. <laughs> No, but I'm just saying, like, as far as people dating each other, like, are y'all still, like, do y'all still... What's your name? My name, Nick. Like that, <laughs> like those back and forth. <laughs> no, I'm not saying they have to take go back your pick. No, they don't have to go back and forth. But I'm saying, you, are y'all still? Do y'all still get excited that, when y'all see couples know. dating? I, I don't know if that happens put music? enough for me to take note to it. It happens a lot. I think it happens a lot, and we don't realize. If it. I see Megan featuring uh, Moneybag, yo, I'm not rushing to that. I didn't rush to anything Meek and Nicki did. I don't normally rush to anything that Hove and Beyonce do together, except for that uh, on the run. That on the run record is like the part two joint. Yeah, that, that's, that's like, probably their best. That's like ear sex. Mm. Mm. Okay, who did that beat? I don't oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Off head. They they smoked that, but uh, yeah, I don't normally rush to. The I know Fonzo where I wrote it. I never really got it. Really? <clears throat> yeah, he did. He, he just stopped being weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you had that's part of it. <laughs> well, then get back weird again. Is he not? Did he stop being weird? It's a different weird. And weird is not a bad thing. I'm just saying. You, you tell me. I think he just has to get out of his own studio with the samurai swords and all that shit and like just go to like a baseline. <laughs> just that's, just be around regular shit. As I feel about Janae. Janae need to go to Great Adventures. It was Timbaland that did that beat. Oh. So one of Timbaland's producers did it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. He, he put his name just, on it. Just be, he said, yeah, that's just, it. Tim did not do that beat. <laughs> Why not? Why you don't think Timberland? It's not a Timberland beat. I think y'all got Timberland fucked up. <laughs> that's definitely not a Timberland beat, though. No. I don't have Timberland fucked up at all. Yeah, but no. that's not a Timberland beat. Timberland, I think he's been pretty out. The, the same way when Swizz's album came he, out yeah. and Echo uh, came on and said, that's not a Swizz beat. And then we it looked at him scratch. scratch yeah. <laughs> Rory, give us a deep down on this Janae record. Tell me why we should be paying attention to this Janae record. Why we should know it exists. Tell, uh, it, tell I, us where she's taking us with this. I, I didn't say we, we should. Um... It's it's the similar content from the last two records. We're we're still on the showing thing. Well, no, it's not because to be. the last record before this, she just whispered, uh, "Thank you, or I need to be alone for seven no, minutes." No, she was telling us to calm down. <laughs> oh, calm down for seven minutes. <laughs> you have a record named "Calm Down." Not seven minutes. And it, I said close. Man, I said more than calm down on it. I was telling you have to give context as to why you want. Someone no, I don't to calm count. Down. That, I don't count that as a record. I'm talking about the one before that. The what was the? Oh, maybe because you didn't purchase it like I did. Okay, I <laughs> I thought it was Joe some Council. YouTube ASMR shit. Fam, that you I used see to go a, I see an artist that I love, mm -hmm. Janae Aiko. I see a I see a time length of seven minutes that I love. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to the the snippet of that. I'm purchasing that. Mm -hmm. So right. so the 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 heartache I felt to have to delete it off my phone. Uh, I don't really delete shit off my phone once I commit. Mm -hmm. So I deleted that. I deleted both of them. Frank Ocean uh, records that dropped. And that was that. But, I mean, when are we going to have an honest conversation about the mid that Janae Aiko's been dropping? And I'm not saying that because she has me blocked. Uh, triggered. That's what I was talking about. It's it's similar as far as the concept goes as Triggered. I like Triggered. I didn't need another one. I just think Triggered is the 30th one of those. Yeah. 
So when is somebody going to have an honest conversation about the mid that Janae Aiko was dropping? Because are you, it, are you saying that because you want her to switch up the content? You want her to switch up her sound? I'm not. Switch up? I'm not saying that because, ironically enough, it sounds like I'm saying that. But I love niggas that keep the same exact content for a long time, mm -hmm. and I love niggas that keep the same sound for a long, long time. You just have to be good at both mm -hmm. and grow within. Yeah. That. And yes. Yeah. I don't feel like she I, is. I think doing, she. I think Janae. Uh, because I'm I'm a huge since the Sale and Soul project. You put me on a Janae. I did. Um, I think that she hasn't. For me personally, I don't think she's grown much vocally. I don't think she she pushes herself. But vocally. even she stays. But she even stays that's okay. It, it is. But I would like to hear. I would like to hear Janae just push herself vocally a little more. Well, no. All right. All her singles be the same subject matter. I can't say all her albums. Every single record is this triggered, upset woman about a relationship. Especially on they the last, the, no, the last one, she was getting into some deep vibes, but all her singles mm, tend to be that. Vibes. I mean, what? How else would you explain? <laughs> the, 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 it's, the, the, it's vibes. It's deep vibes. Yeah, yeah. she performs barefoot. Her, her singles, no, but it'd be deep vibes about a nigga that she's madly in love with that she's not necessarily feeling at the moment. <laughs> Therapy. That is what all of them are about. Yeah. Let's not change the content by saying it's deep. It is deep, but. It's, that's all that type of deep. As much as she portrays herself and and is that chick, she still knows what's going to get clicks. And something called None of Your Concern featuring your ex-boyfriend who is also a rap superstar that you dated publicly, mm -hmm. she knows what she's doing. True. <laughs> good luck. Hey, if that's the rollout, good, I, luck, good, good luck with that one. But did you well, say wait, this wait, is what first, do you think happens? This is for a rollout? soundtrack, I thought you said, right? I, I don't know what any of it is for. Oh, okay. No, this is for her. her I'm, album. Only, I'm oh. only speaking about all of the J Janae songs that have been released that I have purchased and the lack of growth in the music. And I don't even isolate when I when I when I make that statement. I don't isolate her music. With every song that Janae Aiko releases, in my opinion, she falls lower and lower on the list of the women that make that type of music. Of the music that she sort of deep vibes, started. The deep vibes <laughs> genre. I mean, yeah. Definitely one of the first in that, that area. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, but she stays, she likes to stay in that calmer mode. Like with, I guess you could say Summer would be in that realm. But, but Summer can get on a bit crazier production, if you will, that will change her sound a little bit. Do you like think Janae would... stays within that same mode because I think that's where she wants to stay. Mm. I think the most I've heard Janae get out of that bag was on the Omarion record, Eating. which she sounded great she on. She was getting her ass ate like groceries. Well, it worked. It worked. And she sounded fine on a record like that. So it's not like she can't do that. I think she should do more of not specifically the groceries line stuff, but, you know, throw a little more bop on your shit on a few records. And who I'm, doesn't I'm like not, groceries? But I'm not even right? looking for <laughs> bop. Like I don't want I don't want my point to get misconstrued. No, I don't mind the the soft production. I think she can just not always stay in there. I agree. How about make a better song with the soft production? I feel like a lot of her stuff sounds the same. Though. Well, then let me let me ask. What do you mean? I guess what do you mean by better? What do you think she should change in it? Like this. This is better. It has more of a bop than her. This is better before I, I'm not even thinking about a bop. This this bop ain't really driving me. This is just a much better song than anything Janae has put out in recent months. This is Sid getting late off the uh off of the Queen and Slim uh soundtrack that came out. I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, that it's a great soundtrack. I'm going not to, to not to deviate from our Janae conversation, but My point about this is that but, beat that beat ain't gonna let me finish. Go that beat ain't gonna change too much. Her tone throughout that record ain't gonna change too much. And it's quiet, airy. You know this shit. We don't have to explain it. Yeah, but no, it. but but still Sid, of course they have similar tones with their voice, but Sid and Janae make much different music, I think. Mm -hmm. As far as their sounds go. I think what Joe was trying to say is You're right, but Sid can jump in that lane and do it. You're right. She Sid, can. that's not her lane. You're right. But she gives us that lane often. And when she do it, it's better than this fucking calm down shit. Uh, I, still, I still put her. I, I still, I still, I still, I still put, I still put her. Why? I bought it. 
You put it out to represent you what know, you're doing. You are 1,000% correct in that. And, and, I just and don't someone think it was... bought it and they have an opinion on, on it. Right. I'm not with the shit in 2019, 2020 that everybody want to do to, where everybody's hive come out to tell us that we don't understand what the artist was doing. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been. No, I, got, I get it. I got a massage before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like incense too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I will get a massage to calm down. No, no, I meant your calm down. <laughs> not <Nah>, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so we ain't gonna talk about it. Her. Mm. Yeah, I think you. I think what Joe's talking her, about is he wants summer. I don't, I don't stronger put her production in that realm. snow. You want stronger production. Name any of the whisper songstresses. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a million of them. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're talking about stronger production. I agree with that. Uh, well, Stronger production. Yeah, yeah. She, I feel like things have been kind of stagnant. But it, she does pick to production, ultimately. Well, no, so. she does most of her stuff with fisticuffs who are dope and do that other shit. But when they get Janae, I think they want... Janae's like, this is where I want to stay. Right. Mm -hmm. I think her in in house production to, team can do that shit for herself. sure. She just needs to. to I've seen out, them do it. She needs to stop chasing my Sean ass. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking record it could be the other way around. You know, niggas be in the studio like I should get on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can see Sean sitting there. I don't think, I, I don't think it go that. like that. Sometimes I, I, I saw you. No, on no, I know it goes. I saw like you that. on Love and Hip Hop do the same thing. I should get on that. So what you talking about? What I was getting on devil. Devil. Yeah, you definitely said save me a 12. <laughs> <laughs> told the engineer, yo, open up a 12 right there for me. <laughs> Janae called Sean. Hey, the record is finally finished. I just need a quick verse from you. It really can't appoint it. Boy. <laughs> like, right, what, what studio are you at? <laughs> All right. How long are you, you going to be in there? All right, I'm going to be by there. Just wait. She had to call him about nine times to come to that session. He, he, he came, too. Pause. <laughs> More. She said, I made you come nine times in one day. Sean, I think. No, that. that's Sean's yeah. line. Yeah. To her. Oh, Sean line. <laughs> Sean line. <laughs> Niggas never know how many times they girl come. <laughs> Yo, Maul is a nut. You don't. <laughs> Women lie all the time about when they. And you, you can't be. A, you gotta. You can't ask. You can't be like, oh, did you come? come no, nah, you can't. Nah, you can't ask that you question. Feel nah, yeah. nah, you can feel when they're coming. You can feel when they're coming. You can tell. It's you when it's like it's like it. ice cream on a Sunday. No, <laughs> that's what it feels like. When it feels it's not, like it's not a bad comparison. When it feels like they're putting whipped cream on on the shake. It's like, oh, you're enjoying this too. <laughs> I feel the fucking whipped cream. <laughs> Yo, if y'all not gonna live it no. up here, I'm gonna say a bunch more stupid shit. No, keep going. I thought that was great. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just laughing at it's like ice cream on a Sunday. Like you feel because we can't yeah. tell. You, just you gotta, can definitely tell. You just know what whipped cream feels like. But you don't yeah. know in the equivalent how many times that that could have been three and one. That's one. I don't know how to you gauge never, it. Guys, men never really know. You don't really know how many times because you yeah. might think she came once. She's like, I came four times. You don't know. That's like, a good point, though. Too. That's what I'm saying. Guys, don't you don't never really know the amount. Okay, of but if I'm oh, rap, if I'm rapping with my ex, uh, and Yo, how many times was it? Like, <laughs> if we're gonna talk about rappers lying, I'm adding eleven to, <laughs> yeah, to yeah, the I'm, one. Anyway. I'm adding on to that. <laughs> yeah. If she said no, I'm gonna come like, fifteen made a, times yeah, in yeah, a day yeah. that day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fifteen times in an hour. I'm going in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> That's the type of shit I'm on. Fifteen times in one hour. <laughs> I do believe that Big Sean did this third though, because that would explain the dramatic fall in the music. She's so relaxed. Yeah, she think she can say "calm down" on the song because she called. But, <laughs> nigga, we, nigga, we ain't come nine times. <laughs> Damn sure did. Hell no. All right, come on. What else we got for Janae? I think we covered it. Think, is that, is, okay. I think we can end on the on the Sean and Janae coming nine times note. I like Fuck, fucking weirdos. Nigga made her come nine times and boogied. <laughs> it's a power move right there. Yeah. Not nah, swag. That's, that's king shit right that's there. That's a strong move. That's, that's I am, I'll see you later. Well, look at Sean. Your two lips should come in a vase. You rolled my face. That's your, that's your shit from a, yeah, a dick yeah. yelp review. Ooh, two lips. Tulip. Ah. Vase. You don't even see what Sean doing. You don't see him. <laughs> look, I realize. It's always funny rappers realize something. I realize you look as good as you taste. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know if he said it <laughs> like Things that. Things all in your mouth from grabbing you up. Dick. Oh, he's one of those. <laughs> I swag. I'm grabbing your waist. Your room is my only escape. 
Who the fuck does Big Sean think he is? <laughs> You've never done Escape the Room? <laughs> <laughs> no. You've never done Escape the Room? No. That's a hard bar. <laughs> Janae's room is definitely escape the room for Big Sean. And you've never you've never grabbed a chick's <laughs> waist and escaped the room. You know she don't have a door no. in her room. <laughs> now she just got to crawl out. Yeah, I know she don't have a door in now there. She got the beads, just the beads. Just the beads. Got to yeah, part yeah. the beads when you walk in Janae's room. You know that. <laughs> got a fucking million dollar crib. Like take all them doors yeah. off. Nah, just keep beads. I just beads. want beads everywhere. Just beads everywhere. You know how she doing it. All right. Bitches be looking stupid sometimes when you put your fingers in their mouth. <laughs> like if they don't know what to do. <laughs> Nah, it should be kind of fire, though. <laughs> nah, if, 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 if ever my, our eyes meet during the act and you look stupid, <laughs> this one is over. <laughs> you better look. I could be doing the nuttiest gotta, of but shit. But you got to know how lick to my wrist. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> I could lick be doing the wild wrist. Whatever <laughs> I'm doing, you just vibe. Yeah, but you gotta, nah, wrist is my spot. She going to look at you crazy if you put your fingers in her mouth and you ain't wash your hands or something. <laughs> Like if your fingers, fingers all salty, well, you should, you fingers should be aware like, of, of your hygiene. Yeah, if your fingers you taste like loose change, it's just like yo. Right, <laughs> you like, you're supposed of, to. I don't think none of mine assume I'm the cleanest <laughs> <laughs> before the act anyway. It tastes like a Newport. Yeah, they try to cover it up. <laughs> you just never smell. <laughs> Little screen man feel me. <laughs> Sometimes I be trying to freak it, y'all. I'ma go get in the shower. No, don't. Hell, no. Don't. No, no, don't. don't. They like how I smell, mom. Oh. My euphemisms. What is it? Euphemisms. euphemisms. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's the word. Cigarette. Yeah, right on point. <laughs> Cigarette. Newport euphemisms. Yeah, yeah. Euphemisms. Newport. <laughs> Yo, you want to be the only eight in town, huh? No, I don't. <laughs> God damn. I told you those are lies. This man. nigga will not let another nigga shine. Nah, get your shit off, Joe. Yeah, I call my brother son because he shine like one. <laughs> Mo, you, Mo, you think any of your other chicks? Maybe share a eight? Maybe there's another eight walking around? I'm sure there is. Right, some so. tens too. Damn. Damn, Mo. <laughs> you think someone tend one of your eights? <laughs> or maybe they ate one Too rich for who? Mm. Y'all just got rich again? Eight out of ten? <laughs> maybe she ate a ten. I don't know. <laughs> She ate a ten. So she ate eight. <laughs> Clearly, we read the review. That was lies, man. Yeah, the production on the Janae song. Is, <laughs> it was you know, Phil Oh yeah, the Fisticuffs that did that record. Okay. It was yes. <laughs> Fisticuffs need to produce her. They do. They produce her. That's what she. That's how she wants to sound, Joe. Yeah? I think she. Yeah, because not all they stuff, stuff sound like that. Yeah, I, I just think she needs to challenge herself more with the production. But I love Janae Because ultimately she is picking the beats So yeah. I agree Mo how many Eskimo brothers you got out there? Eskimo brothers? Oh, I'm probably, pretty sure I have a few that I know of Yeah Maybe two Maybe and This was when I was you know young Oh no it's, it's over what? Oh, yeah. no, Well no Eskimo brother doesn't necessarily have to mean they like your brother Yeah No 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 it Just, just, just have, somebody you know have women in common You think two? <laughs> That I, know, well, I said that I know you, of. You think this you've is, never been cheated on? I was about on. to say, this is worse than me never been cheated on. <laughs> no, I said that I know of, for sure. Oh. Two. Yeah. I'm high. I'm very high. <laughs> I'm not sure I could count. But I stay away from that as much as I can now, though. Like, I, I don't Try do Trying to ask him all up? Yeah, nah, I don't do that. <laughs> I think the older you get, like, I used to be with the whole, you know, if it was a bunch of, you, know, you had a girl, I had a girl, Joe had a girl, like, and we all in the same crib. Swapping? Nah, not, no, 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 not swapping. <laughs> No, but I'm just saying, like, we say we in the living room, like, and Shorty just want to start getting busy right there. Yeah. Like, just in front of whoever. Sure. I used to be down with that. Now I'm not with that shit, man. Like, I'm not. See, wait, before you do that, yeah, I was impressed that Disney just figured out a way to say what I've been trying to say for you. Before you finish with that, we got to just put the Disney uh, qualification on it. Huh? When Disney put out, they put out their shit and then all the racist cartoons, when they was like, yo, you're going to see some shit back in the day that's not okay today. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but we, st- anyway. but we still put it out yeah, Fuck it yeah. Yeah, Nobody better than, nobody, bad, nobody better than I That's fucking nuts Yeah Niggas wanted their racist cartoons <laughs> Disney will give them to <laughs> But don't fuck up my cartoons With the, the race conspiracy though Like Well some of them weren't really some of them conspiracy were, uh, Yeah they were just racist Anti-Semitic that, and racist like, like A lot of them weren't though, They really put them shits on there Disney That's is crazy. Nuts. They would have to now Disney. in 2019. Disney is great. How many years I watched uh, All in the Family reruns? That is some yo. If you look at All we in the Family talk- now. But that that look so, at it then. No, but but I mean, when you were younger, you didn't really quite. All understand. right, so I would have questioned the fucking adults in the room as to what, why this show. I, mean, I might have even asked that one time. Is that oh. the one with the old uh, white dude that was racist? Yeah, that was the whole premise of the show, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't. I never I seen this. that show. 
All that shit was that shit was hilarious. Was I mean, the, co- the cover art funny. cover art looks a little racist. Wasn't that the premise though? Is yes, the old racist white guy. Yes. I mean, these don't look like the most progressive the four yeah. Yeah. I've ever seen. That they look, do not look that looks like the America, Make America Great Again sitcom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That shit right there. Yeah, that's a wild premise for a show. But it was hilarious. It was it was funny, and it was on for years without anybody being any the wiser. I'm pretty sure if we go back and look at a lot of old sitcoms and shit like that, like now, knowing what we know, it, it, it's a lot of crazy shit. But Fam, now that we show. know what we know, listen, and Different Strokes was my I, shit coming was, up. But come on, you, you beat me man. to it. Different Strokes reruns now. Fam. It's another one. It's I not even seen a, that shit since I was it, nine. You could probably say at that shit. time it was an undertone, but it's not a it's not an undertone. It's a tone. <laughs> That's definitely it's just a just, just straight up tone. White Savior? Yeah. That's what the whole show was. Yeah, Different Strokes was nuts. I still love that show though. So That was my shit with Different Strokes. Kid. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna stop loving that. Sh- I mean, I get it, I understand, but think that was that's my childhood. Was Webster also racist? Then had to be. If different strokes was same kind of yeah. premise. Yeah, kind of sort. What of. was Webster? The adopted black kid. Yeah. Nah, but they treated him good. Mr. Drummond never understood <laughs> Willison. <laughs> they never. Understood. They asked. They asked every episode if they go to Harlem. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they had for lunch money every episode. <laughs> They couldn't get shit from that dad. Nah, nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the clothes was some bullshit. <laughs> Little white, the white sister prancing all around the house having a blast. <laughs> she was what, never on punishment. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so office sitcoms. What other music came out? Chicks Tape finally came out. Chicks Tape Five. Chicks Tape Five finally yes. came out. Joe's uh, Illmatic finally finally touched the streets. Not my Illmatic, <laughs> but an album that I've been waiting on for years. I have no shame in that being a music lover, saying I'm waiting on music. Yes, I'm waiting on music right now. I'm waiting on Rihanna album. I'm, wa- I'm waiting on her album, mm-hmm. and I'm waiting on Drake album. Those are three albums I'm waiting on right now. Mainstream sellout. <laughs> and Royce. I don't try to save it with Royce. <laughs> try to put your hip hop card back yeah, on. Try to, try to save it with bars. I'm waiting on. Actually, this is a good call. I'm waiting on Fab for different reasons. He put out a single today too. Did he? Yeah. Fab did. Yeah, he sampled the same shit you got sued for. The ESPN shit. Then I got sued the for MB, the NBA. The NBA. Oh, that, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, he oh, must have. Yeah, must have cleared it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the song? Uh, it was cool. It's just him. Yeah, just him. Come Rap, on, somebody give me a little, somebody give me a little taste. Give me charged up. Yeah. All right. Fab by himself on a single at this time. Yeah. I want to hear Fab's album just to hear where he's going with it. Yeah, I'll be curious. Too. There's a few people out there that told me they have they have Fab's album. I don't I won't believe that just yet. But they have the whole album? That's what a few people are telling me. Wow. Oh, so it's done. I wouldn't believe that. I wouldn't believe that it's done until it's out and in stores. Yo, Fab um, used to kill that Freestyle Friday shit. You remember that? When he was putting out a joint every Friday? Oh, yeah, recently. That was only a couple years ago. He went crazy. Yeah. He, he went, was, every Friday. No, no, he went crazy. He went crazy on that. Oh, he got to smoke this. Oh, the Jordan shit. Yeah. What'd you put this in? A slaughterhouse with this. They yeah. can't okay. play this for no other player no more than NBA. No. Uh, do they <laughs> even try? No. Hell no. All right, he should go crazy right now. All right, I think I see where he's trying to take us. I'm just trying to hear where the drums drop. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they change from this. Well, can you fast forward to see if they change? Oh no. All right. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Hey. This is the fab I've been waiting on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, come on, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. That's the fab I've been waiting on. Yeah, bar fab. It sounds good. Yeah, that's the fab. I think that's the intro. It sounds like it should it. be. Yeah, could be. Yeah, it sounds like it. That meek intro is the greatest intro ever. It is. It is. Oh. That is the intro still up there. Rappers that could really do intros, I kind of like that fad of of just putting the intro out first. A lot of people like have took that formula. I love when the baby did it. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was that was dope. I would need. I would. I would. I need a remastered Dynasty intro. That's my. Yeah. That's my issue with it today. When you put it on today, the beat don't hit the same. Mm. That's fair. Okay. I think just said something happened with the engineering. They put two samples at the same time or some weird shit. Mm. Yes, yeah, this it. Let me see. But that's a great in- that is shit intro. Fuck it. One of my Come favorites on. ever. It just sounds like 90 something to me. Yeah, I can hear it phasing. <laughs> Yeah, you hear how the hard. snare sounds like it's two snares playing at the same time. The drums are playing at the same time. That's why it sounds kind of hollow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're mixing a record, even how you do it on there, and you're playing two records at the same yeah. time, they're coming in together. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's the same sound. It's two beats playing at the same time. Oh, okay. I do hear something like that now that yeah. you say that. He's tweeted about it. Yeah, they should remaster this. That would be dope. All right. Um, Chicks Tape 5. Chicks Tape 5 came out after however many years. I've had it. I've played it out all week long. Love it. Love what he did. I think I said that a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. But now that y'all heard it, come on, give me y'all deep dive on it. Yeah, I, I went in uh, no more, but trying to hate on Tory. Um, <laughs> did you? No. Oh. No. But uh, I was interested to see how he was going to. Try to change up this series, and I, I have to give it up to Tori, man. Tori is a much better writer and arranger than I ever gave him credit for. Absolutely. Yeah, no. He knows how to put records together. Yeah, I, I, I have to admit that after Chick State 5, this is the best Chick State, in my opinion. I, I know that's a lot of people are going to disagree with me, uh-huh. but how he bodied me, these... Me being one of them. I know. How he bodied putting these together, I think this is his, his best Chick State work. I'm really interested to see how it pans out from, like... Uh, business and legal standpoint because this may be the most usage of high profile samples that we've ever seen I'm not going to get in this business but there's no way he's making a single dollar off of this. I'm sure no one I mean <laughs> the sample clearance guy is probably the only one making any money off in the lawyers yeah but he probably that lost, being he said probably lost money on this but we'll make it back with touring exactly right? well not only that but if the these are great records so if they live on the way they should live on and can get light that's the good thing about clearing it and shit is now you can license it to everything in the world so it's so also the good thing about your your iconic series whatever that series is for him it's Chick's Tape for me it's Moon Music uh, some artists have one but when you have that sometimes the goal for you is just to uphold your brand yeah like that, that Chick's Tape brand is so strong that even if he don't make a dime uh, dime off of it uh, just to have the label behind it just to have these songs be official songs to just grow his brand. Right. Or that brand even more. Yeah, he's in a good place because he, I, I don't want to count anybody's pockets, but he's very successful with non chicks tape music. So he so can afford to do he's, it. He's you know able to do this. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to do it this way with part one, two, three, or four. Yeah, probably not even four. Yeah, because yeah. actually that's what I was looking for him to do with four. I'm like, damn, like you got it now. Like make it an album, make it a project, like track it. Right. Um, And I, I liked. The choices he he picked, like the Splash Ludacris joint, wouldn't be one I would think he would run to. Right. Um, I thought they were just really weird, in particular records that he chose. The Cry Mario joint, like I just thought it was dope selections on what he did. What, of course, you can if you love R and B, you know off rip what record it is. But there's still not all of them were just super hit records that right you would yeah. run to remix. Right. <laughs> so, I got to give it up for uh, all of the featured acts on here. Majority of them smoke their appearances. Yeah, um, my favorite joint is the uh, probably the, the Chris record. Yeah, that Chris joint is, is stupid. Chris Brown killed his feature. Uh, Trey songs on still waiting killed his. Mario did great on his. I love Lloyd on um the thoughts record with Wayne. 
Uh, my favorite, my favorite might be the slim appearance on uh, Room One Twelve. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like slim is just gonna always sound like slim, and that sound is gonna always be in to me. Yeah. Like he was one of the people that Tory's Tory's uh, tone couldn't body just off tone. Mm-hmm. Like Tory, as soon as his tone comes on, he normally wins because the record is in that tone. It's his. Can't do that with Slim. But even with Slim, and of course they kind of marketed him as the lead of 112, Slim's voice stood out even when they was harmonizing together. Like Slim has an interesting voice that you can really hear off rip no matter what. Like it stands out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slim is one of those. Uh, that Yes Sir record I liked a lot, even though I still can't tell what flip that is. Uh, that's what a good you question. Can't tell? I, I can't tell the, the flip, the sample. Uh, yeah, I have it here. I didn't think it was one. I thought I thought this was just a record. I no? I think it's a flip. Uh-huh. Yeah, that this this record right here. This is a record. Was, I thought there was two on there that that weren't flips. This is a pretty Ricky record. Pretty Ricky. But I don't know the song. Ah. Uh. Actually, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Is this it is, yes? No, it's not. It's not Hotline. No. I don't know, but this. He smoked this. Uh, your body, pretty Ricky. You have it. Your body, pretty Ricky. Do you have that record? My body, yeah, yeah, that's your body, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's hard. All right, you can cut it off. We don't need to get into that. Um, your, uh, what's your favorite record off of this? The jagged edge joint that he started with, I thought was really, really tough. Mm-hmm. Um, again, like that feature as well. To Rory's point, and like I told him, I just thought he did a really good job of picking which two thousands songs and artists to flip. Yeah, yeah he did a good job. So you really said your good. favorite song of this is what? Take You Down? Take. With, with Chris Brown? Yeah, um, yeah that, shit, that joint is hard. For me, I'm probably still going to go with the, the 112 record. Yeah, either probably the Chris record, Chris record, and maybe the Trey record. So now, what does he do now? What does Tory Lanez do now? Does he wait a second and attempt to put out his studio album to does find he, does to he, find wait a second before you continue uh a year a, a year or more no uh, nah, not absolutely not i no. can see him coming back in the summertime, summertime. E- even if one of these catches and it becomes a record you yeah, ride that wave to your album or your next single and it should come pretty soon i'll say summer I mean, this is a real album, like retail album, though. So he could conceivably tour it, and probably should tour oh, he's it. Definitely and, gonna tour. You know, it. treat it as an album. Like it's, I know it's a yeah, quote no, unquote I mean, mixtape, but no, definitely you treat everything like an album. But I, I, he, he'll tour this for sure, and um, it's, it's going to be a pretty good show based off his <laughs> records. But this will be a great definitely festival have set. Song coming by summertime. Though. A festival set of Tory Lanes and Friends. That would be a set. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you could. Reenact this. I mean, maybe though. I I just you couldn't tour all of them together. Right. I think you could do you could find a Rolling Loud to do this at. Yeah. And true. just do a Tory Lanez. That's friends. the only bad thing about doing us so many songs with artists like features. Live. They don't perform the same. Right. If the artist that they featured on the record is not there at the show. We're gonna get a performance of him and T Pain doing that Jerry Spunner shit. <laughs> oh yeah. That that yeah, yeah. that one will happen. I mean, I mean, as far as like on tour, like touring this project. It's hard. I can't see Tory Lanez touring this project. Yeah, it's hard. Now that I think about it, it's hard because these nah. artists are not going to be available to come out every show. Well, I just wouldn't see him touring this because he's already a huge touring and festival act. Mm-hmm. So to do, oh, I would wait for that. I could see him doing a whole in. chicks tape tour where it's all of the chicks tapes. That would be dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I don't. I think that comes later. Now. Yeah. Maybe so. I think yeah. that comes later in his career. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that weird when he's after he's a couple albums in and wants to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to come back and just do Chicks Tape shit. I could see a Chicks Tape set on whatever tour he's going on. Right. Or maybe a Chicks Tape portion, but yeah, no, not right now. And again, I can be wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, what else is important? What else? Uh, any Stop. other music come out? Styles P put out an album. Yes, I saw a tweet that said, yo, I'm putting the album out in two days. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't hear it. You heard it? Yeah. It's good. The shit with uh, Benny and Conway is crazy. I think I heard a little bit of that song, yeah, just that a little crazy. bit. I have to go back to that. Yeah. Um, shout out to Styles. Yeah, absolutely. He's well, one of the most consistent albums. This is album like artists. his 30th album. Yeah, right. <laughs> Something like that. This fucking last five years. Yeah. yeah. With a really high shooting years. percentage. Yeah. 
Yeah. I just got Chris Rivers on there. I wanna, yeah, I want to hear this. I didn't get a chance yet. I love the name of the the, the title of the song with Benny and Conway. Blam, blam, blam. <laughs> That's what it is. No, I that's mean, about Joe. <laughs> blam, blam. Did ever nigga spell the blam? Blam, blam, blam. You think yeah. that's a relationship record? That's their that's that's R&B. That's their chick song. I, I, gotta, right? okay. I gotta see what the content is yeah, like. Yeah, that's their chick, that that chick record right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, only he's got Chris, I think Trey has Chris Rivers on his EP that oh, is yeah. coming out at some Chris point. Chris Rivers is nice. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah, he can rap for real. Yeah, Apple don't far, fall far from the tree, if you will. No, nah, not at all. Who is Chris Streets? Why do I know that name? Uh, he is. He's down with kissing them. He's, I think, Rook's cousin from Justice League. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he's dope. He's super dope. I know the name. Yeah. Good dude. What has Styles been releasing these on? Uh, independent, I believe. Maybe Empire. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, my guess would have been. I doubt he was on a label. It may be Empire. Empire yeah. That's great for Styles. Yeah. Shout out to the ghost. All right, so no, no more music? Partisan Fontaine dropped his album. Oh, really? Yeah. I, like I, I would like to purchase yeah. that. Yeah. Like no, nah, I fuck with him. I only got like halfway through, but it was really good from what I heard so far. There's a great pen. Party, yeah, Party is one of them dudes where I'm going to buy it just because I believe in his song making ability. Yeah, no, he makes good songs. So he should be able to make 12 good ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd like to check it out. Is that an Atlantic release or no? Yes. Yeah. He's He's got the, the cadence shit where like we'll appreciate it and chicks... Fuck with that flow, right? Right. <laughs> Which well, I mean, like it a sounds, tough place it to sounds be like Cardi, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a dude. <laughs> party, party is a uh, he's what I call a a, a caption rapper. Okay, like he's gonna say a lot of shit where girls are gonna have captions. For so him. I want to see if that happens on on his own project or if he shoots for that just with Cardi because that's what really really works with the, that type of female rap. No, I think that's kind of just that's just does, shit. does a little bit. I hear okay. every time that, I hear him is, rap. It sounds like that. That right. bitches in the back are backing it up, rather. Um, I mean, the entire song is a, a caption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rightfully so, and that's why it does so well. I didn't know. I thought maybe he wrote that for Cardi, and then she was like, all right, well, let's just do the record together. That's kind of what I thought. That could be but, the case. I don't know. You don't need nobody coming up to you as a woman. That was your caption? No, I just thought it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was hard. Joe Cash, that. Imagine Joe Cash in that. Yeah, he might. You don't need nobody coming up it's, to you. It's as early a... in the weekend, Mo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone listen to Doja Cat album? Yo, that woman, that... that coming up to you as a woman shit is the stupidest thing in the world. But I mean, you can't say that because it's like being dismissive and misogynist. No, it's stupid. No, I, <laughs> no I'm with you. It's stupid. Isn't it stupid it's though? Stupid. It's yeah. dumb. Is that Wait, a girl a... saying I'm, I'm coming to you as a woman? Yeah. 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 A woman do some stupid shit. Coming to you as a woman. All right, now what? Come here. (laughs) Yeah, all right, all right. Now now what you want me to do? I ain't about to stop fucking him. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, thanks. Yeah, I don't want to put you through this. No, I'm trying to get rid of you. (laughs) How do you not see this? How many times did that happen to y'all? Uh, it's happened. There we go. Never. We about to go to the next level. Never. 50 minutes in Never. at the next level. Uh, Rory's it, trying not to tell the story. No, no. It, it, it happened to me and uh, I lost both of them. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't fix that one. Oh, you won. <laughs> no, I, I yeah. definitely did. You won. Yeah. I definitely did yeah, in retrospect. Won. Yeah. Because they, they got like too cool after. I think they still hang. <laughs> oh, that just means you can still be both. I mean, like if they get cool with each other, like you have to let time pass, of course, and then bump bump into them somewhere. Yeah, and laugh. (laughs) Hey, hey, hey. yeah. (laughs) Look at you, look at you. (laughs) Look, look at you. Isn't it great Uh, that we can just laugh about that now? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I was such a kid. Yo, woman, (laughs) woman, love when you recognize how you were wrong back then. Yeah, like the role you played. Yeah. Damn, I can't believe I heard both of you that way. Yeah. <laughs> I think I gave yeah, him some what? of that sauce on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> oh. My favorite. This year. This year coming up. And previous years, but. No, nah, I never gave him that. I've never I've never given him that previous year. Previous years, it was always, yo, I'm taking my ex on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Scream, man, don't do that. Let, let, us, let us pray on it. <laughs> yo, you are the sickest Are you person praying this year? I've ever. Nah, the praying ain't come yet. Oh, it's Joe, coming, Joe, get out of shit like that. He just start crying. Like, Cause you can't be mad at when nigga once they start crying. It's like Joe crying. Yeah, it's kind of a chico. That's kind of real. Yeah, Joe crying with the man. This nigga's crazy. Man. Have you ever in like your early twenties? Just finished crying in front of somebody. I know. I'm sure. <laughs> on your way here. But you gotta once once the first tear fall, 
He was like, I can't do this and turn around. <laughs> you got to turn around and walk fast. Like, like you're you're having the vulnerable moment, but you don't want to show them. She, she, you can't she, do this. She followed me. Wait, you know you can cry in front yeah, of no, me. No, 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 I can't do this. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know if I can anymore. <laughs> Throwing Vizine all, all over his face behind. <laughs> Yo, don't Yo, do it. You are sick. Are you sure I can do this? Are you sure? I ain't even feeling vulnerable sure. around you. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Are you our sure? Yo, Rory be in the bag with me, but he won't never. I know Rory getting his cry bag too. I've cr- I've cried in front of chicks. That's the, that's the I, shit. But chicks cry. like that. I, Come on, I'll part you no, down with us too. Yeah, not the way yeah. he does to women he may not love. Like I've done it in front of women that I love. I love all mine. That's true. Every last one. I fake I, to get out of an argument. I said I was about to cry. No, actually, it wasn't an argument. To get out of a yo, m- to get out of a conversation, I didn't want to have. Like it was getting too. Yo, like, uh, that's, that's Maul is the exact that's a move. Maul, yeah, it was that's getting, a good move. I'm getting too deep. No, like, it's, it's not a strong move. I was like, yo, chill. I'm about to cry. Man. Maul is the exact guy that is dating the girl that this works on, where you could just say it and not mm. actually commit to it. Yo, I'm gonna <laughs> well, cry. Not, well, neither of them yeah. are committing. So yeah, that's how, you, that's how you give it. That's the vibes. What she said. She was like, "No, don't cry, because you gonna make me cry." And I was like, I'm trying not to. See. I've used that move too, though. Yeah, I've used say, her move. Yeah, see, don't I'm, start crying. I'll start crying. Well, well, just use. I'm trying not to. Like I'm trying not to. Okay. Like, I don't want to. The, no, the my, my bag. My bag before the, the crying shit. My bag in my early 20s was like, I try to fake be mature. Like a year later, like yeah, I was 22, and like, <laughs> like my, I'm 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yo, I was just a kid. I didn't even know yeah, what I was, I was doing. Young. I was young like, and stupid. <laughs> it's been six months. <laughs> I was young and stupid. I was young and stupid last month. Young and like, stupid yeah. last summer. Come on, I was 21. Like, yeah. what are you talking? Well, I was young and stupid back. Yo, then. I was a freshman. <laughs> what if dudes start? Bro, you're a junior. What if dudes start trying to, to try to come up to dudes, man to man? Like, how would it go? Nah, niggas is getting punched in their face, b. Yeah, it's violence. It's not really niggas ain't talking. And not even over like you the, think? the niggas ain't talking. Why we can't unify like the women do? No. DM in a strange man I'm coming to you Man to man It has to go to violence. We need like a male Janae If that's gonna happen We do have a We have Drake <laughs> But no, he doesn't come Even in. Drake ain't never just yeah. hit you With calm down On one record <laughs> Nine times <laughs> yeah. That's true No he's not doing that Um What were we talking about We were talking about crying. music The woman to woman shit Was a tangent Yeah and we were talking crying, about new music crying Artists and Fontaine And then yeah. we were talking about Doja Cat which I, who I like, I like Doja Cat. I like, I like her too. too. I didn't listen to that album yet, though. No, I don't know. It's good. I, like no, I don't know enough about yet, Doja I like Cat. Though. I like her. She raps. She raps. She raps. No, like, sings. Oh, that's why I don't know. She raps. Uh, she did the uh, "Bitch and Macau." If you're familiar, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah but that I, was your shit. But this girl was a joke at that time, and then she started like making good music. No, yeah. she had like written, I guess, for other people yeah. and had put out music before that. That's just the first thing that like went viral. I guess that's what went viral. Yeah, I'm coming back. I'm telling you. Oh, was a, oh, was a rapper? Yeah. It's, I, well, you know how... Sh- shut up. I told, <laughs> I told you this three years ago, and you just laughed me out the room. You told me what three years ago? To rap, nigga. I said rap, and you was like, are you... Boy, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? Yo, when niggas ask me to rap today, that I still sound like that. I know you do, but it makes... Why wouldn't you? No, it's for the peasants. The peasants. <laughs> <laughs> wow It's for the peasants <laughs> Jesus Christ Look look at how you've changed It is for the peasants You can uh, definitely do a thousand Rhyme your own words nigga uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta drop the same week as Maul Yeah that's don't what's gotta, He don't want that smooth I told Sin the other day In a moment of transparency And I also told him I'm gonna stop talking about it on his pocket But <laughs> I did tell him Shout out to Sin from Rory, not you. Enough shout outs from me. I haven't, I haven't said one word about Sid. Keep it I'm light. Chilling. Yeah, I'm Keep chilling. it light. But I did tell her the other day, listen, if OLS5 was coming, <laughs> you better chill out. You better chill out out here, honey. <laughs> the second I dust that pen off, all Joe do is sit down in front of his, his exes and open up the notebook and start looking at him. Mm. <laughs> they, know, they know what's great to happen. Like, oh, he on his yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> goddammit. Just takes one IG picture. All right, so what else what else is important on a Saturday? What else do we need do we need to tell them? Is that it for music? I don't fucking know. I think we had a music. Oh yeah, well. I don't think anything else dropped uh that I can recall. Oh, I didn't I didn't the, like how y'all just kinda just brushed over having women in common with other dudes. And just walking around not knowing it. Roy, every time you bring up like a really good topic here, we don't know how to further it. <laughs> we don't know how to make it progress. I'm with you. That's a great conversation to have. But why do you, but 
I mean, you only know if, I mean, because you don't ever really ask the girl, do you? No. So, I mean, how do you find out? Y'all are liars. Sometimes the girl will tell you. Yeah. I, Sometimes, that's how I found out. Like, I never ask a girl if she's had sex with. Yeah, no, that's weird. No, I don't. I, some, I, I think that's that. a respectable move for a girl to say, hey, by the way, just to let you know. I used to talk to your homeboy. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I know, that I know of, too. Yeah. That I know of. That's nuts that you're at two. That I know of. I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> like, I can't I'm get over that. I'm not saying it's not more. <laughs> that I know of is two. I'm not saying it's not more. I know of two. Well, just in me knowing a couple of the women you've been with, you got at least 300 Eskimo brothers. <laughs> Easy. Like, yeah. we all okay, got 300. What, what, I know you got two that you're accounting for, but what, 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 one chick done what, gave I'm, you, she, you got the family. It's a gang. <laughs> it's a gang of niggas what related makes to you. It, what makes, but what makes it... <laughs> Qualifies as my Eskimo brother though. Like how cool you both slept with the same girl. We both girl. beat it yeah. down. No, but it can't be Eskimo brother if me and you are not cool. Or we know no, that. Yeah, no, it can. That, that is what Eskimo brother. That's why is. Yeah. it's not. It don't matter about yeah, you. That's being why I cool. say you don't got to be brothers. No, I'm not saying you got to be brothers, but you don't have to I, know them. Really? Is that how it goes? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I thought you had to be cool. No, like. Eskimo brothers is just you. Know, y'all have someone in common. Eskimo sisters. Y'all have someone yeah. in common. According to dictionary.com. Eskimo brothers is a term that refers to men who have had sex with the same partner at a different point. Yeah, in they time. don't. They don't care about your actual friendships, small. Oh, if no. that's the case, yeah, definitely more than two. I uh. thought it was like you had to be like somewhat kind of cool with the. No, nah, y'all niggas like the uh, movie Three Hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, Maul saying two. I know more than two for Maul. <laughs> no, I, like, no I'm, listen, I'm your Eskimo now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's us, nigga. No, we not. How you know? How do you know? Oh, I don't know. Yo, you That's keep, true. Yo, unless you tell yo, me. you keep speaking definitively on things unless that are not Unless you tell me things based. that I don't know. That I know of? No. Me and you have no women in common. But how would you know that? What about Mo? your other close friends? What do you mean, how would I know that? I just I'm, said, I, I, I don't think, I don't, I know. I've never been with no woman that you've ever been I with. I know, but but how would you know? Because you're right. You, I, you would have to know. You just said, we're Eskimo brothers, so you know something <laughs> I know. Uh, don't try to press me, fan I'm not, I'm not pressing you. <laughs> hey, look at you thirsty to find out. Nah, not get at out of here. Get out. Get off you my said line. It like you knew. Nah, get off my line nah, now. I'm just saying you said it like you knew. Yeah, I but I know. wouldn't tell you. Like, what if me and her still kicking? Not. So what that mean? <laughs> but nah, you might come try to fuck the vibe up. You got <laughs> me? I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. You might? You know me better than that. I don't, I don't give a fuck. If I'm fucking the girl that you fucking, I might not want you to know. It's like me and Michael Paul. <laughs> but why wouldn't you want me to know though? But y'all, cousins? But y'all look identical, so. <laughs> but why you, wouldn't you want your men to know? Uh, I don't know. I'm talking shit right now. Oh. I don't know if I'm being serious. Oh. Yeah. But maybe right. I wouldn't. Why? I don't tell my friends anything about me. You tell the world everything about you. <laughs> no, that'd be the girl. <laughs> no, no. I have That's songs. A shade I have songs where you told the world everything. <laughs> I'm like I don't think streaming right now. I was so go. young. I was, <laughs> I was so young. I was, I was, I was so that was young. Three years three. Ago. <laughs> yeah. I actually think the entire Drake diss series was just being Eskimo brothers. <laughs> no, that's my Eskimo brother. Hold on. And Definitely, that's my Eskimo no, brother. That's Eskimo. a nasty thing that's to drag about. At this point. <laughs> you and Drake are brothers at this point. Remove Eskimo. Y'all Eskimo brothers too? No, we not. How do you know this? Yo, what not is wrong I, with Maul? I said not that I know him. No, you just keep saying, no, we not. not no, we not. Okay, so not that I know Maul him. Maul want him to that they all his is just his. Okay. Don't do that. Like like what you just was talking about with Homeboy, right? I don't... I, Who's Homeboy? I, we just watched the clip on Erickson's phone. All right. Oh, okay. I don't think we have any in common. Oh, y'all 100% do. Fact. How? I, I would I'm, think. I would I'm, think y'all I'm would saying too. it's a fact. Who? I can't tell you on mic. Okay. We'll talk but y'all, mic. y'all have someone in common. That's that's actual factual. That's not even me making shit Ooh. up. Tell me off mic, because I swear I don't know who you talking about. Yeah, I heard some stories. They was wilding. And y'all was wilding. So I can see where the tension come from. Yeah, they did y'all. it together. No, no, not together. <laughs> no, no, Shorty was fucking with Maul, and then yeah, you know I mean, came up with Tory. So now Maul don't like none of Tory records. Ah, okay. <laughs> Damn, Maul raised her. Hey, what? Is, are yeah. you being for real right now? Or you joking? Nah, don't give me the hands. <laughs> don't, do that. don't do that. You gotta tell me if you being for real or that's like. Why well, can't you say this? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not jacking that. Nah, nah, nah. Because that's bullshit. Well, I am being for real about y'all uh, being Eskimo brothers, but everything outside of it, I'm joking. Really? Yes. Okay. 
Well, I don't hate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hate Tory. I don't know why he thinks I hate him. Just for the record, I don't hate him. We didn't say his name. Yo, but these niggas be trying to be <laughs> my. Yo, okay. but wait a minute though. But these he niggas. Did. Hey, I want to clear mine up though, because I feel like, I feel like no. All right, I figured out how to word myself. Now, in my household, I didn't grow up to call anybody a half brother. Same. Like. You're my brother, yeah, or my you're not. My sister. Yeah, yeah, or you're not my brother. It's not. A, it's my half. That's the dumbest shit in the world. Absolutely. I also hate the siblings that run around. Oh, my mom, my dad. When you're talking to your sibling, mm-hmm. oh yeah, <laughs> that is really annoying to me. But that's off the tangent. What I was trying to get to was there needs to be an asterisk next to some of my Eskimo brothers <laughs> because some of you niggas actively try to be brothers with me. That's weird. That's gross. That's a thing. That's weird. And that's, I don't think it's nasty. a thing with just me either. There's a and there's an entire community of men out there who are sleeping with women based on the men that the women have slept with. That's disgusting. every rapper does that. I don't do that more. Yes, you do. No, I do not. <laughs> yes, you do. You've done it. I'm telling you, you've done it. Tell me more. You've definitely seen a girl that you know another rapper has dated and wanted to date her. Oh, that's not what I meant by that. What do you mean? Because she dated the rapper. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's the nasty. That's what I mean. Of course she dated him. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know about that. That's happening out there. Oh yeah, no. That's That's nasty. Oh no, I believe it's happening. That's disgusting. No, I've never never looked at her and said, "Oh, no, 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 no." no. (laughs) See what French thought about you? (laughs) Like I never, I never did that. Right. That's disgusting. Let's come on, brothers out there. Hold up. That's a nice little album. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your comeback no. album. Let's no. brothers. Yeah, oh my me God. and my Eskimo brothers, we could kill shit right Ew. quick. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this is this and is might win a pickup game. <laughs> <laughs> this is some For real. Sure. Now we winning the pickup game. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right, more. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is some real. Wait, you not Eskimo but... brother with some athletes? For sure. All right, there we go. That's more your bag. Yeah. You got to be honest. No, we talked about ball player I know what the meaning ball is. Player. I thought the meaning was we were cool. Like you had oh, to kind no. of sort of cool. No, no, no. We no, we no. talked about uh Who were this, this es- was Eskimo brother. Somebody ill, Devin Booker. <laughs> 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 we talked about it on a podcast, I think that never came out like episode five of what chick will put out the best album. It was some real chatty, nasty shit. That's why I don't think we ever put it out. I remember that actually. Yeah. <laughs> But it was sick. We can't, we can't name no. No, that's yeah, gross. That's that. that's wait, gossipy and wait, shit. Wait, what, what were we saying? What chick will put out the best album? Based on what? Her bodies. Based on her bodies. Yeah, I'm not even admitting that I was a part of anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what, what are you archaic ass dudes? You came up about? with the, t- the no, topic. No, I did not. That sounds like one of your joints. <laughs> no, you, no, like a, no, you know what? That sounds my, like a Joe Button production yeah. for sure. No, a Joe yeah. Button production that is. That wouldn't even cross my mind. Th- this is my rule. That's how I know I'm not down with that talk. Because my rule is. Once a chick has slept with the posse cut, you have to relax. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, what, what was that A$AP Rocky song that came out with all the niggas on One it? train? One train. Yeah, it was a few chicks that was like... It's a wild train. I, I was on that train. Damn. How <laughs> <laughs> one train beat. <laughs> it's like... One train. It's, How the one train when beat? When the posse cut could beat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's a few of those out there. Action Bronson and uh, ASAP Rocky should not have bodies in common. These chicks, they're creative. That's crazy. But they'll say what we're saying is controlling and that there's a sexual freedom and you can't tell anybody what to You're do. You're right. No, we don't we can't tell anybody what to do, but we ha- we we have We can laugh. Uh, we can laugh. But why do women say see and this is why I got to stay alive in 20 years to see how the dialogue changes. Cuz today there's no retort to that. Today you can't tell a chick, "Hey, you shouldn't fuck all of the dudes on the one song." <laughs> Like, spread out the songs. <laughs> right. Because that's like going against their sexual freedom. Yeah, but you can give them advice on how that may ruin them in the long run and what their end goal is. There's a few chicks out there that'll pull Team USA up right to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, though. You ain't lying. Oh, shit. All right, come on. Come on, see when music runs out, we just have to... Yeah. Come on. This came off of Listen, a music man, conversation I don't know, somehow. Oh. <laughs> you guys have bodies you, uh, you're you taking to the grave? Uh, yeah. Good. Like you would sit in the court of law, yeah. hand on the Bible, yeah. stare your mother you in don't? the face. What? <laughs> I have, I have bodies that I will lie to the person that was involved. No, no, I'm saying about, she's about on the stand it, with me, and I'm, this woman is crazy. When that chick's never even met you. 
When that chick started barking like a dog that one time and I came home and told these niggas. Uh, I'm sorry? When Shorty started barking like a dog. Like, wolf? Yes. <laughs> Why was she barking like a dog? I think you're the only eight in town. <laughs> <laughs> this guy want to be the Man. only eight so bad. Why you think, nigga? All right, <laughs> doing what I do. I, I walked right in my uh-huh, yeah, nah, Laying nah. mine that's down. How, yeah, that's how you give it up, my bad. She ain't know what to do yeah. but a little wolf. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. You win. Right. What would you prefer? Would you prefer all your Eskimo brothers to look like you or to look totally different? <laughs> I'm asking. No, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like her to have some... Some, some diversity, some diversity. Like seven, <laughs> seven years ago, I felt like I was one of the first like bald, light skinned niggas with a beard, and then we just started getting cloned, <laughs> multiply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are everywhere. Then we all started dressing the same. That's true. Yeah, you and Common was like the first <laughs> bald head, light skin. No, no, no. He fucks way high caliber people. Man. <laughs> caliber <laughs> people. He was fucking Serena. <laughs> hey, I want to go to U.S. Open. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Remember when Drake tried to be fancy and go to the U.S. Open? Remember when Drake and Common was fighting over Serena Williams? I do remember that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Was that stay scheming? Yeah. It was. And, was and, and sweet. And Canada dry. I missed that one. That's what Common called him. Missed Canada. the com- Common response? <laughs> yeah. Strip your backpack. backpack. <laughs> remember that one, Parks? I don't remember the song. It was the song called Canada Dry. I just know he ended the verse with Nah, son, you Canada Dry. Like, All right, come <laughs> just like, come That's on. when we knew Common lost. <laughs> come on, Common. Some people don't think he lost. Ooh. He lost. Some, some he people, lost. Some, he lost. Some, I love Common, but he lost. Some people don't believe he lost, okay. is all I'm saying. All right. He definitely lost. He, he lost. lost. He lost. <laughs> Stay scheming. Drake likes Serena. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. He, he put venom in yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it bothers me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. When yeah. Common when he, bothers yo, you, when he got bothered, yo, don't let a light skin nigga get bothered, fam. And when he, yo, bothers me when the guards start acting like the. <laughs> and then seeing that nigga at the game, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Mom, remember you came in here and tried to tell us that KCP could play basketball? Yeah, I remember that. Apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was easy. But he also told us that Melo's going to go to the Blazers, so. Yeah, you're welcome. And Mello went to the Blazers. Well, I told Dame he should try again. He should try getting that, making that happen. And because of that, you made it Sports Center. Yeah, he made it happen. I, I actually think that's a not just not a sports podcast, but I think that's a great fit. Honestly, it is. That's a great fit for Carmelo. We thought that when we <laughs> talked to Dame about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, that like and but obviously now Dame seeing how the season too. is going with Portland and the how's teams, the season going? I haven't seen one game of Portland. Of anything. Oh, uh, well, they seem like they're in need of a small forward, a starting small forward, actually. Well, I thought they were in need of a power forward because Zach Collins is injured now. Yeah, but they kind of off their small forwards, too, though. Don't they like to play guard and small forward? Which is why they need a true small forward. I just want to see Melo, man. Yeah. yeah. I just want to see how he looks. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I'm yeah, happy for him. He's been forward. in the gym. He's, been, I'm he's still in shape. So. Uh, he's in the gym every summer showing mm-hmm. us the hoodie jump shots. Mm-hmm. We know. <laughs> um, but I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Melo. Yeah, Congratulations. Congrats. congrats to the Blazers. Hopefully you can make some noise out there because I see you see Utah now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I told Dame about Utah, didn't I? You did. Yeah. You did. You've been, you've been gassing Utah for a while. It's working. Yeah. They, they, quietly, they, they nobody, look good. Nobody's talking about what Chris Paul is doing in OKC either. Because we don't care. No, you should. Why? Because he's surrounded by a bunch of young um, guys and they're winning. Tired of that little fucking dribble between the lanes, spin move to the paint and fade away jump shot. I've seen it. I'm sick of it. I'm with Does it work? <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> All right. Well, no, there you go. Works. What's OKC's record? Uh, they four seven. Oh, so let's talk out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's early, though. About that. It's early. It is early. I ain't yeah. talking about that. It's early. Oh, the Blazers are four and eight. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, where's Dallas? Six and five. I mean, Nick's, but Nick swept them anyway. Yeah. Zingus Schmingus Yeah, swept by the Knicks. All right, come on, come on, man. I can always tell when Rory's not interested. Come on, let's talk about something that Rory's going to enjoy. <laughs> you wanted to bring up power. That was your shit. Power. You wanted it. You got it. <laughs> I'd love to hear the power the is on break until January. And we uh, already know what's happening. <laughs> and I said that I was no longer watching power uh, because of the shenanigans. I was sick of it. I've had enough. I'm here today to. What's it called when you're not doubling down? When you take it back? Triple down. Oh. Take it back. Reverse down. I reverse down. <laughs> Renege. Hey, yo. 
What is AO about reverse down, Rory? <laughs> I don't know. It's just some, it's somewhere <laughs> in the sentence I can find it. I am reversing down on this. I killed a Uno game when I put two reverses down, and it's my go again. <laughs> because you play <laughs> Uno the right way. Yes. That is how it goes. That That's is. how it goes. That's the law. Man, tweet tweet Uno right now. They're going to answer you. If you put two reverses nah, tw- down, it's, it's your goal. Uno's Twitter again. is terrible. They don't know the rules. They don't, yeah, they don't. Twitter don't know the rules to Yo, anything. Uno oh, don't know oh, the rules Uno to Uno. Don't know yeah. the, their own rules. Uno. Uno don't know their rules. They really don't. At all. They don't. I'm, I'm putting a draw four on top of a draw two. Okay, you don't know the rules. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I agree. That's not, Never that's, mind. That's, that's you don't know the rules. Two reverses don't work either, though. No, two reverses definitely work. making my go again. That's a fact. That is a sick analogy. It's not an analogy. No, no it's a, that's it's a, fact. a rule. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. Uno says it's that's science. a rule. It's science. It is science. It is. If you reverse twice, you're in the same if spot. If I reverse to Rory <laughs> then reverse it back. and reverse it back, it's, it's me, me again. <laughs> okay. And a draw four can go on top of a draw two. A draw two nah. cannot go on top of a draw four. Oh, all right. You know what? I a stand, draw four I stand can go on top that's, of anything. Oh, yeah, it's a wild card. It's I thought, I thought yeah, you yeah, were, right, you're right, I thought you're you were right. playing the, the two at the same time. No, no. I was yo, like, no, that's, that's nasty. nasty. Yeah, that's yeah, nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. No, okay, yes. Yeah. So if someone drops a, a yo, draw two, I could put a draw four. I down. never want to talk to you niggas that glue the draw two to the draw four and drop it. No, no, draw no, six. No, 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 get out my house. No, <laughs> that's not. That's what I thought. That's well, what I thought you were referring that, to. Because the draw four is a wild card. It is. It's the same color as the wild card. Yeah, no, draw four you could put down. Yeah. I'm talking about the niggas. First of all, you're not throwing a wild card on a draw two or a draw four. It's a draw card though. You draw. You talking about the draw four card? He said wild card, but it's it's a wild card, it's a wild okay. card. not the wild card. Got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, because the dudes that put the draw two on top of a draw four instead of just taking your four cards and skipping your turn, like fam, what are you doing? Yeah, like yeah. the color's not even green. <laughs> pick, pick, pick your get green your, draw get two. Your, your green uh, draw two. And get your jacket yeah. <laughs> and, and, and everything and, else you can. And get the fuck out my house. Uh, power. So so uh, a spoiler alert. It's not a spoiler alert. I think they've spoiled the season themselves pretty much. But Ghost is alive. And we know that because episode 11 leaked. And there's a picture of Ghost alive. standing there holding the ketchup stain on his chest. With a bruised uh, bruised chest and a bruised ego. Wait, he had a ketchup stain? It didn't look like blood. Oh, okay. This might be more egregious than 50 being burnt up in the warehouse and escaping. Nah, that was, no, that that's, was, that's bad. That was bad. <laughs> Ghost got shot in his fight. heart. But they're going to say you had a vest on. More. That's what they're going to say. I didn't More. write this show, Joe. More. You know that, Are you right? sure? No, I didn't write this. Oh, okay. Maul. They're going to say that. He had a vest on. Yes, Maul, Maul is kind of yes, too bit on the brother wrote this show. <laughs> they they, they going to say he had a vest on. And you know the vibes. That's why he's looking at his bruise, like confused. It almost, it almost went through. So now, wait, we no, have... isn't he bleeding in the? Yeah, where did the blood come from? If you're wearing a vest, no, he was holding a glass of red wine, fellas. When he fell. oh, ah. see, that's the screenwriting shit. We I hate the show. Y'all gotta see. Y'all gotta see through that, man. Come on, y'all know the vibes. So what happened? There was leaks. There was footage. You Just guys came and told me this. I didn't falling know. off the balcony is not going to be an easy thing to bounce back from either. First of all, who is leaking this? Power just needs to cut it out. They're leaking this shit. Well, Absolutely. That, that's number one. And number two, to reply to Parks, the balcony in truth. <laughs> Not that high? <laughs> you can survive? The, the fall was dramatic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he was up there for a while. We saw it. Well, we've seen that balcony. The balcony yeah. is right there I could truth. probably touch the top. <laughs> And his sofa's right underneath the balcony where the oh. VIP section is at. So. so now I have to watch the rest of Power. You had to anyway. To. Yeah. I told you that. Yeah, but I didn't know that I would. If Ghost, yes. if Ghost wasn't there and Proctor wasn't there, then I wasn't going to commit myself. Oh, these trailers are nasty. Go back to the Tasha one of her cocking a gun saying, I have to save my son. <laughs> Ghost What'd never told the be? truth. And look at us now. No, this is uh, <laughs> this is the worst show ever. <laughs> This is like Hood Empire, it is. Well, what, what was Empire? What? <laughs> what was Empire? Suburban? <laughs> that was the suburban version of uh, the No Limit Empire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is Jesse? Silk. Silk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that to Silk, hey, man. Hey, <laughs> it's definitely Silk. Oh, you bitches is nasty. Y'all was yo, y'all loved giving it up to Silk back in the day. 
Now y'all laughing. Silk had Silk him. was cleaning him up. Nah, Silk had him out here. Y'all Eskimo brothers? He was Drake Silk? before Drake. Fuck. Ain't Silk. called the shocker Silk. for no reason. <laughs> yeah, word. Hey, that's a good point, Rory. Why you think he was the shocker? Oh, yeah. He was giving the shocker? Why you Parks, think? what did you think the song was about when they were saying, make him say, uh... Na 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 na. That's a good point. That's what he was making her say. Mm. She the wolf? <laughs> no, that was this old, this chick. <laughs> this so chick. many chicks have fooled me into sleeping with them. What do you mean? All right, <laughs> no, tell us your you. story. Come on, I should have known something was up when she tell had us your the, truth. What, what's what's the store that sell all the fucking little <laughs> robotic chairs and gadgets, Spencers or some shit? Yeah. It's one of them stores. It's another one that sells. If she shops at Spencer, she woofs. What's the store that fucking has the shit that puts the moon like stars on your ceiling? Probably oh, Spencer's too. Like, all... Tell me how many chicks you slept with that had stars on the ceiling. That... Nah, that was my shit. I got, I got that. <laughs> I used to like that right before they Damn. come through. I, I want one of these. I know. Sit down. Don't worry about it. That shit work? <laughs> no, nah, the stars. Yeah. Let me tell she you was something. Definitely that chick stars. got up to hit the lights. <laughs> She was definitely a hoe. She had to eat, pray, love when you walked in. She knew in. you were into astrology. The letters on the wall. Yeah. That's all it was. She's like, the this box. is the Virgo thing right here. I am. Yeah. And yo, she did. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Orion's belt. <laughs> she said, you know, this is an exact replica of the stars in the universe. And then she started wolfing. Do you know there's 95 million, 70 thousand stars. You look at the sky. Look right there. I'm like, yo, I'm looking right there. I'm looking <laughs> Don't right act right like here. that wasn't your shit, to too, look, though. I need you to look right here. That's how she tricked nah, you into fucking. it went bad. <laughs> Nice. No, I thought we were just go look at the stars and shit. No, nah. no, you didn't. But I know how it feels that, like, when you hear the stories of people being taken advantage of sexually, and they say, "I just fr- froze in the moment." You now people always laugh. They're like, "Ah, how could you freeze?" <laughs> I froze in the moment, mad times. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Why is it because she was just They're too really aggressive? Touching me right here. How do you say stop? You I've been there. How old are you? Thirty-seven. It's probably twenty-nine. I've been there. Twenty-eight. I've been there. You told a girl not told her to stop. You didn't want to touch you. I didn't know how to say stop. It's was awkward. She, was she attractive? Yeah. But why didn't? Why did you want her to stop touching you? It didn't feel good. His body is a temple. Oh, okay. She didn't know what she was doing. She was too aggressive. She didn't know what she was doing to me. Okay. <laughs> That's a good reason to stop. Somebody, somebody else might have thought she was killing. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> All right, why don't you guys share stories from your past now? I've, I've been there. I hate too aggressive girl. I don't like the too aggressive girl. The one that thinks she's doing the most and she start like oh my God. pulling your shit off. Like and it's like, yeah, I like, I like this shirt. <laughs> yeah, the chick, you stretching like the neck. Nah, I this, like this, this my shirt. shit right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing way too much and yeah. I was going to wear this Saturday. Like, relax. Yeah. The chick, the chicks that take wild head, like, literally. Wild head. Like, oh, yeah. relax. Yeah, yeah, doing too much. Yeah. Your mouth's doing nothing. Your yeah. head is just going crazy. Yeah. yeah. That, Rory does fuck fuck those girls. Or used to anyway. I can see him used to fucking those girls. The rough, the wild. Yeah, the girls that do all that bullshit with their head and nothing is really happening. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've ran into uh, a few in my day. Yeah, same one. I, 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 I hate when they use their tongue too much, like lick your face. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> like you know, they start licking on you. They think that that's the sexy yeah, shit. Yeah, it's up. And they look at you and just lick like your mouth, and it's like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> don't ever lick my fucking mouth like that again. You ever had the the over sensual chick? They like try to lead up to the head, but it's been like ten minutes, and you just wanted to suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> like she thinks she's killing shit. <laughs> no, Rory, I've never had that. No, 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 <laughs> I've never experienced no, nothing like that in my life. No. no, y'all need help. That's why you just gotta say it. You just gotta say it now. It's hard. Yeah. It's, when you're no, the it's not. Well, it's not. No, I was, I was about to get Bro, soft. That was the problem. Say it. That's how I know I'm like the sixth man off the bench in the Eskimo Brother Squad. Like, because you don't say it. No, because I know I ain't doing whatever you niggas is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just say every it, man. fucking Trey song song I hear. Like, oh no, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah. nope, ain't doing that. I'm not texting her. Uh, well. Oh. <laughs> you can see me if he's unavailable. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I wonder if she likes grits. <laughs> take her, to, take her to get some food. These chicks come to me when all the niggas are on tour. <laughs> you check the routing. Check the routing. Be like, no, oh, that makes sense. Your phone blow up with them niggas. Yeah. So much. Yeah. <laughs> when Drake be with Future. Yo, my shit be lit. <laughs> Soon as he come back, yo, the tour is over. It's quiet. It's quiet out here. 
I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. Now you don't like podcasts, yeah, yeah. huh? <laughs> uh, you don't like you don't like niggas that pot it up. Yeah, you don't oh. like Park's Kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that is fucking hilarious. Who else? Yeah, Who she, else she, she says she Eskimo she says she gone for the week, but Drake got seven shows at Madison Square Garden. Start to add up. Man, that's when you start to know what's going on. You start well, to know the, what's for you. Well, do you want to know all your Eskimo brothers or no? Uh, if, if it's we not cool. information I'm seeking, but I if think it comes the, across my, no, my I'm, path, I'm, 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 I'm seeking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeking it. Now, it. It depends. It depends on how serious you're trying to be with the girl. Like I think that would be the only reason why you would want to know. <laughs> shit, I want to know. I want to know the Eskimo brothers when I ain't trying to be serious with you. Why? Because <laughs> shit, that's when we be out having fun. <laughs> it's got you looking wild right. in the last lap. No, I'm setting up now. I ain't saying no more. Fuck y'all. What you mean? Back to Ghost. Back to what you mean. I don't Who mean one nothing. Of your Eskimo brothers. No, Ghost is not one of That's my just Eskimo one of his brothers. I'm sure that's your Ghost answer. is married. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah, he has a past. Yeah. You know Which is probably yours. Here. Look at you. <laughs> that chick has definitely seen you and Ghost and said, yeah. I think I'll take both of them. And that's something Joe would say. I got a whole new life ahead of me. Nothing, Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Who gonna stop us, huh? <laughs> um, back to Ghost being shot and then back to life. Uh, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I cannot believe that I've fallen for this bullshit. I can't believe that Ghost is here. I can't believe that I can't sleep at night without knowing who shot Ghost, but I have to know. I have to know now. Since How he's not dead. Yeah. Look at Rotimi. <laughs> Trying to find his daughter. Look at Lorenz Tate. All these niggas is crazy. All Yo, these videos are hilarious. All of these niggas is doofs. <laughs> Tommy's a doof. Everybody is turned into a doof. They got Lorenz Tate looking bad, like a bad actor. You won't listen to me. Damn. When is this back in January? I ain't doing shit in January. <laughs> well, who's on who's on tour and who's off tour? <laughs> yeah, that'll determine it. That's true. <laughs> Who is on tour in January? Look at you. Us? Seeking. <laughs> Hey, oh, we we'll come on, Maul. Talk about it. we us. us. We on tour. Speaking of us, December seventh and eighth and nineteenth, we are in Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York. Tickets are still on sale. Check your local t- Ticketmaster or Mom and Pops. Mom and Pop stores are selling our tickets. So, I mean, the good the ones, physicals, the good ones to be able to get you whatever you need. Okay, we have VIP packages. I believe we do. We should get together and get a show together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the thing we're supposed to do on stage? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we should do that. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it for my uh, power shit. Let's get into uh, Netflix. In the battle of the streaming wars, Netflix has purchased the right to uh, remake and repurpose anything Nickelodeon has ever done. I had to go after, you know, my rivals become my rivals. Uh, just a day after CBS chief, whatever his name is, noted the addition of children's programming to CBS or access Viacom has exercised a different strategic option, setting a multi-year licensing deal for Nickelodeon Kids Fair with Netflix. Awesome. Is the, is, how, how do y'all feel about that direct move in response to whatever Disney Plus is doing? It's not going to get it done, but... Yeah, I didn't I, think I, so either. It's, something, it's, it's definitely something. not going to get it done. I saw everybody super excited about this. Like, Well, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, would like I don't think that's going to Because really... you're a naked nighter. I was. Yeah, I mean, that's my age. Uh, but this isn't going to get it done against Disney. And all the racist cartoons they have coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Nickel- real. Nickelodeon was kind of progressive. <laughs> Give me my racist time. Yeah, but now cartoons. that they mention it. They had a face it. that changed colors. Now that, that was like their host. Now that Disney mentions it, man, and I hearken back to Yosemite Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was up with Yosemite Sam, man? He was doing back. a lot. Yosemite Sam was that white guy with the gun just mad at Blacks yeah. or rabbits or whatever, it whatever was. rabbits stood for. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever the metaphor was supposed to it was be. The yeah, metaphor there for sure. Absolutely. Elmer Fudd. Yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't think that was Disney though. I think it was Warner Brothers. No, it was Warner Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Where do they fall? In? Well, so Disney owns them now, right? Uh, See, I, I don't know. HBO. Oh, HBO owns them. Yeah. I don't know. While they signed to them. HBO. So, are we supposed <laughs> to pay for all these streaming services? Uh, I mean, you can steal. <laughs> and Wale's album. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for a lot of streaming Look at services. what music is signed to. <laughs> that wasn't a Wale shot. That was a music shot. Look at who they're signed to. <laughs> yeah. This shit is getting out of hand, though. That's better than I Look hand. who owns rap. <laughs> it's not getting. It's yeah, better. but it's like, what the fuck? Come on, bro. I don't think this is going to get it done, but I mean, whatever. Like I've been saying for a few weeks, I haven't opened Netflix in a while. Um... Uh, 
Actually, that's not true. I opened them. Uh, I opened it the other day and watched some stand up from some Italian guy who was pretty funny. That's the same dude that you he was funny on from, from the VMAs. Is yeah. it? Well, if you're talking about the Italian comedian, what's his that, name? Uh, uh, I don't remember. Come I on, know he had a long name. Man, man. Uh, He's like extremely popular. <laughs> Sebastian, I don't, Sebastian. That guy, that he, his stand up is very funny. Listen, yeah. I told you he was funny. You shit on him for the VMAs. His VMA shit was not he good. He just wasn't funny in the VMAs. But he's funny. He's, he's funny. But his, I told you he was his funny. stand up is all on Netflix. Is all about hating people. Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian Maniscalco. And, and it resonated with me. He's really funny. He's really good at hating people. <laughs> like he hates his marriage life. He hates, he hates all you. He doesn't niggas. want company coming over. Oh my over. god, I love him. Yeah. I love him <laughs> for funny. it. I totally relate to it. He's really funny. Yeah, but they probably wouldn't let him do him on the VMAs. Oh no, you know, of course sure not. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely more because he was like the VMAs. I didn't know anything about him, mm-hmm. so right. I'm just watching you in the VMAs, and I didn't think you were funny. Mm-hmm. He ain't so cookie cutter. Uh. <laughs> he ain't as clean as they tried to make him be. Uh. Like he oh, no, hates no. people. Yeah, no, no, he's he's funny. Y'all should watch that though. I Honestly, y'all should yeah, check it out. It. No, I've seen I it. it. I like him. That's oh, why I was telling you I like him. Oh, that's y'all shit. First one. I'm late. Yeah, yeah. I fuck yeah, with Sebastian. First stand up. You probably saw the second. Oh, one. I thought I lucked up on something and was like, oh, look, nah, see, nah, no, nah, he's he's first. No, he does the garden for like days. Yeah, he's a really big comedian. Oh well, yeah. Well, he's yeah. Funny. But other than that, I, I haven't seen anything on Netflix to to make me. Uh, I'm waiting on season four of The Money Heist. I've never watched that. It's I'm waiting on Ozark. The Money Heist is great. I still haven't watched the last season of Ozark. There's always some good um, it. murder mystery shit on there. We're watching uh, yeah, Cold, ne- fa- Cold Case Files. Netflix now is definitely not what it was. But if you like, take the time to try to find shit, you can find shit. It's just you know annoying it when you don't want to find it's shit and you want the, it in front of The way of your face. they lay it out is impossible to navigate, in my experience. Like They rely too much on algorithms and what they think you're going to like. Yeah. They rely too much on it. I wish if I click one thing, you're giving me all this. Maybe I just wanted to watch that that one day. I wish that some of these would have like outside review, like a like a Rotten Tomatoes link or something to be able to search shit by. Like a Yelp. I just hate something. It. I just hate everyone's looking opinion. for shit is impossible. Like that's because they're a little star system. Everything is ninety seven percent for you. I know what you mean. That's that's why they kind of like why they came up with playlists and music because it was too navigate um, too difficult to start just searching for your favorite song so right. here we're gonna get somebody to curate this for you you're saying they should do that with shows yeah some type of way to search it by ratings outside of their algorithm uh, yeah find, that's the only find like a chef that we like and these are his favorite cooking joints something like that <laughs> yeah what do directors you guys, what do you guys think about uh, the Monique lawsuit to Netflix this is finally happening now class action suit uh, suing Netflix for dis- uh, discrimination, uh, pay gaps. Uh, oh, this is this is it right. Here. Hi, my loves. I can confirm today that I filed a pay discrimination lawsuit against Netflix. I had a choice to make. I could accept what I felt was pay discrimination, or I could stand up for those who came before me and those who will come after me. I chose to stand up. I don't have any further comment at this time, but I appreciate all of your support and love. Uh, Scream Man, it's not really what I was looking for to read. I was looking for something a little more informative on this uh, lawsuit. Do y'all think she stands a, a, a chance? I do. I do. Uh, I do. Well, how do you th- how do you think they're going to prove it? Well, it actually goes back to the Byron Allen thing. Yeah. Uh, that the Civil Rights Act doesn't it doesn't you don't have to show that it's the only reason why they discriminated against you. It just has just to be a of, reason part yeah. of that they discriminated against yeah. you. So if she can prove that, which she may be able to, so, I'm not so sure. So what, what do you bring up? You bring up other comedians that may oppose what you're viewed as and whatever she doing. And ones that her, her lawyers have definitely told her that she has a, a case. Yeah, she wouldn't. And she has a good here. chance of winning. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't. But, take law, but lawyers case. be doing that. I mean that's yeah, true. But, I mean you wouldn't take <laughs> like, on a Netflix. Lawyers just be you telling you, like you know, you got a case. <laughs> yeah, but not against a Netflix. Like you wouldn't just jump into that. I mean you might, but I know a lot of lawyers that would do that and take the pay from her and take the L just to get their name out there and then blame it on Netflix as because yeah. this is kind of as a lawyer, you'd be like, Well, it was more discrimination, that's why we lost. Right. Like this is kind of a, a really easy, sleazy lawyer way to make some money and some some notoriety. Yeah. I feel like I've come in here a bunch and said I feel like Netflix is down with discrimination. I just haven't worded it that way. I feel like I've said a bunch of times that Netflix is one of the companies I, that, that you either fuck with us or you don't really fuck with us. And for me to determine that, not telling anybody else, I just look at your business model. For Netflix to be, have the ability to upload and distribute anything they want 
And then when you take a gander at what they actually distribute and who they have deals with, and like you got to be Dave Chappelle and Eddie Murphy to get a deal up there. So you're saying just comedy as a, as a black person. Yeah. We're not talking their overall thing, just comedy we're talking I, about now? I'm talking about the, the as a whole. I'm not even talking about just comedy. Netflix to me is the same as Apple. If you Oprah, you can get a deal there. Mm-hmm. If you Mall, no. Mall's going to sell a thousand copies first week though. That's true. I know, and some of these <laughs> and some of these companies, they don't have the wherewithal to know when they should support the up and coming act who has all of the tools to get to the next level, but for now can only sell a thousand copies. There was a, a thing recently. It's yeah, somewhat well, that, related to that. Uh, the guy Hassan Minaj that has like the nightly show. It's mm-hmm. kind of a political theme show. He did something that. Uh, Saudi Arabian government did not like so it probably had something to do with uh, gender discrimination or something and Netflix took it down because they said that we're not really in the business of uh, fighting for people's shit basically like we're not in the truth business we're an entertainment business Mm -hmm. so that kind of caused some (laughs) yeah when companies say that it kind of tells me what what the vibe is on on a back to your point Joe on a comedy level I kind of look at Netflix in like the Def Jam space where they did that like they were rocking with Bill Burr in 06 when it wasn't really popping because they weren't really popping yet and they kind of grew with a lot of these comedians Joe Rogan has been with them since 05, 06 when you had to fucking ship in a DVD comedy just got really really big and I think Netflix said fuck all that we've been rocking with these people for this long let's just get the bag with them I don't think they're concerned about doing the growing thing anymore because they're just they're competing against Disney. Like I can't rock with the growing group <laughs> at this point. Mm. I have to go with the superstars. I think they they did the artist development thing. I think they're they just want to market to stars now. That's all. And Monique is a star. I'm not talking about the Monique case right now. I'm just talking about the comedy circuit, which Netflix I has do, kind of been I, the the bigger I agree person with, in. I agree with what you're saying, but I disagree. Mm. You're calling it the artist development thing, and yes, while Netflix is concerned with Disney. I don't think that they should be focused on developing artists. What I'm talking about is not really artist development. I'm talking about the community of creators that, for take for instance, money and violence. Gotcha. I'm talking about money and violence. <clears throat> I'm talking about people that are doing something that is working, it's going to work. Anybody yeah. with eyes could see that this will work to a different level if we put something different behind it. I'm talking about giving that a shot. Now, would you call that artist development? Uh, I don't yes, call it still. that. Artist development, to I me, mean, in this movie term, is taking something that that leaves no inclination of what it will do at the next level. I think anybody can agree, money and violence, when you saw money and violence, we was all saying, when are we going to see money and violence? Of course. <laughs> right. Yeah. Net- Netflix won't take the small budget that it took to get money and violence to the next level, but they'll mm-hmm. borrow a hundred billion dollars and give it to Ben Affleck and go with that. Right. That's Netflix. Yeah. I, we're sort of saying the same thing. I just think now their business plan is we wanted, they wanted to compete with the movie. This before the Disney shit. They wanted to compete with the cinemas. Like, all right, we have everyone staying in their crib. How are we going to make sure they never go to the fucking movies again? So they were borrowing all that. You're not even looking down at the YouTube shoot show that's amazing because you're kind of past that. They're and gonna I, lose that battle, by the way, going against that, the movie right, theaters. So but with that, on. with that said, yeah, I think they are gonna lose, and they should focus that, on it. But that hip hop show tells me that they are looking at all the YouTube shows. The, oh, they're uh, looking Cardi at them. Show? Yeah. yeah, that show says to me the same way Apple has put out. Well, maybe not. No, no, no. Apple didn't do that. But when Apple, when I spoke to Larry Johnson about gauging their Jackson. interest. I mean, yeah, I'm at Jackson. When I spoke to Larry you know, Jackson to about, back, about putting... He would be an interesting interview now. When I say Larry Johnson, I would only mean uh, the Knicks forward Kramer with Ma. the four-point play. Gotcha. I'm never referring to <laughs> doofus, dude. <laughs> um, but when I had conversations with Larry Jackson engaging his interest in bringing everyday struggle to Apple, mm-hmm. uh, why didn't I bring that up just now? YouTube shows, uh, paying attention to what they're doing on YouTube. Oh, that, show. that told me that Apple... Albeit they didn't do business with all of the little people, they were paying attention. And because of the movie Antitrust, I get paranoid when the big companies are paying attention to the smaller guy who I feel won't do business with the smaller guy. 
Mm. Now, why was I bringing that up in relation to Netflix, even though I know I feel that way about Netflix? Uh, we are talking about comedians focusing on maybe the smaller ones. Like you saying, them. you saying Netflix has to compete with Disney. That's today. Yeah. For a long time, they, they didn't have competitors out there. Which I think might have been their problem. And had they come up with creative ways to drive up, to drive more streams and not just focus on wherever they were focused on, maybe we never see the day where they have to divide things up and drop them once a week because niggas are just blowing through what they got to watch in a day and running away. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you have a network and you put and you put compelling content on there for the days, like if you and which is why they, I assume them to be doing this whole now nah, uh, once a week when I putting everything out there, right. then you kind of in a good boat. Well, I mm-hmm. think the thing that kind of jammed them up is them trying to push it forward by getting original content, but there's not enough non-original content on there to keep you when the original content dries up. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of users are. I would actually say a majority of the masses want to go see things they're familiar with already. Sure. And I, I think that's why Disney is going to be so successful, at least in year one, two, and three. Yeah. Because people are going to want to see a bunch of shit they've seen already. Yeah. Well, they used to have stars at Netflix at one point until they went on their own. But if you go to the stars app, there's like a lot of good movies on there. Stars has one of the best movie lists I've seen in quite some time. Yeah. And, and I'm and an HBO stand. And their body and the original content. Outside of the movies, because I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the movie no, stars. They're, they're, their, movie, their movie actually, list their, is Their nuts. series, like even uh, when they was promoting stars, I think, the, um, what's it called? The Dublin Murders or something like that? I mean, not yeah. stars. When they was promoting Power, Power yeah. they were pre- oh. previewing well, the Dublin, Dublin Murders. murders. Yeah. And I was like, when is this dropping? Like, yeah. this looks great. HBO, every series they put out it's fire. is fire now. So, yeah. I mean, Netflix has, they, outside of Disney... Their focus is probably on a whole bunch of other people as well. Yeah. I which think, is why they should not abandon uh this model I'm saying of oh, no, fucking no, no. with the lesser the lesser I don't think I don't think they should either. I was just explaining that they did that and now they were on Easy Street when they didn't have any competitors. Now they have Disney in their face, stars, HBO Go, Hulu, everybody. Hulu, like Hulu's Net- great. Hulu is awesome too, and I mean HBO is HBO to me is like the Simpsons. They don't got they could just be that for the rest of their lives. Yeah, they don't really have a competitor. Yeah, um, and now they got to fucking borrow a billion dollars to get Will Smith to battle himself and make a horrible movie. <laughs> like they have to just grab as many well, that, stars. That, Fuck that, the content. That Jim Knight Man thing was a Netflix thing. I thought it was no. I don't know that if it was, was but that was th- that's not the point. Okay. Listen, yeah, yeah. the, the fuck yeah. Dolomite, whatever that shit is that they doing, Wadi Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop Nine, all that shit that they want us to get excited about that I know costs a whole lot of money. I don't give a fuck about it. Right. Same. I don't care about any of it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Dolomite. I didn't really like it. Yeah. I watched I the preview. Watch I watched a whole bunch of great actors. Some of it was fun. Like that. Nah, not enough of me. Mm. Like the consumer yeah. is just savvier today. It's, it takes more. To get the consumer to stay on your application for two weeks straight, I think they need more non-original content. Honestly, like because if yeah. all the good shows are dried up, I'm just leaving Netflix now because you got to sift through three thousand shows that no one cares about. So let me the ask funny this question. shit. It might have behooved them to, to to pay Monique, even if they didn't feel like Monique. Monique on her own were worth it just to get into the I stand by black woman business. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Cause that that is probably worth their while. Yeah. And if and if you're a big Fortune 500 publicly traded company and you don't feel that way, it makes my little ass in my living room and say, "Well, why not?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is still a very, very, very important portion of your consumers. Yeah. yeah. Um. But quickly, Parks, when you had mentioned, but I agree with you that Netflix should chill with the original content and kind of focus on grabbing other shit like they do with Nickelodeon. Yeah. What do y'all think Disney in five years? Of course, that catalog is fucking nuts. Does Disney have to get back on original? I'm not just saying the movies they obviously produce that are in theaters right. every week, right. but like the original series that we go to Netflix for or Stars for or any of that specific type of original They'll content. They'll be having that, I'm sure. Absolutely. Because they have too many entities within Disney. Mm. Like Marvel can do their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Fox can do their own shit. There's so many different companies within Disney that it's not going to be an yeah, issue to have people to create yeah, original content. They're the Illuminati. Yeah, this shit now, now, is, now is getting me mad. They, they own they everything. Are. They own everything. I'm, I'm yeah. getting mad now. Yeah. Because, you know, Parks brought up the uh, Bryson Allen shit. I mean, uh, Bryson. Byron. <laughs> More got me saying Bryson, though. No. <laughs> Parks brought up the Byron Allen shit. And 
that's a big, 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 big deal. But like, in terms of these streaming wars, like Tyler Perry is putting out new shows on BT. Right. So you got his deal over at BT. Netflix, y'all wouldn't pay Tyler Perry. Word. Like, really think that? I mean, that's- although maybe Tyler Perry Perry turned it down. Who knows? I could see Tyler Perry turning that down. Yeah, I'm wanting to go to BT. Without information, I don't want to put that on them. You know what I'm saying? But it's entirely possible. With, all right, without knowing any of the information, Tyler Perry had to get his his parent deal or or his distribution deal or his bring everything to one place deal at BET. BET outpaid? Is that what y'all saying? Or he just didn't want to fuck with Netflix or maybe never got the offer? Or Well, you still got to think Viacom is Tyler gone. Tyler Perry got a position at BET now as a result of that, don't it? As he should. I'm just saying, uh, the, a, a, a position comes with that deal, more. Okay. Uh, wherever, wherever, whoever housed Tyler Perry, a position comes with that. Gotcha. Yeah, and I'm wanna... not saying BT paid that, but Viacom will certainly move some money to get Tyler Perry and just put it under the BT. Umbrella. And I don't want to uh, undermine his negotiating strength and power by I, saying that. I'm sure, it's great. He probably said, "Yo, I'll do it, but I want a piece." And Netflix is probably like, "Nah." You know, it's possible. But you I, know, that's, that's all I'm what saying. Joe is that's saying. all I'm like, saying. You said no to Tyler Perry. No, I'm saying he may have said no to them. That's all I'm saying. We don't know. Unless something comes out that says... He might have just wanted to go right to BT. That's possible, that too. That could have been his first and only option. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just saying the optic for Netflix... I completely Coupled agree. with... Agree with that. This sure. Monique shit, coupled with how I have felt about them before this Monique shit, just in watching what they put out, it just don't look good. Just don't. Just doesn't seem like it will deem well... Uh, in the foreseeable future, and I'm glued to the glued to watching just to see how it turns out. Same. Uh, right. Oh, here when the town was uh, a performer whose real name is Monique Hicks. Uh, Monique Hicks filed a lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court Thursday. Complaint says that Netflix offered her a lowball and discriminatory uh, discriminatory offer of five hundred thousand dollars as a talent fee for a one hour stand up special, while other comedians were offered millions of dollars per special. They would have to prove why why Monique is not worth millions of dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Which and, they may be able to do. And Monique will have to prove why she is. Right. It'll be very interesting to see. Yeah. When the talent was not a black woman, Netflix offered to pay and did pay astronomically more than it pays to black women like it offered to Monique. Uh, the complaint reads, it also lists several other comedians and what they were paid by Netflix for comparison. That would be an interesting list to look at because Netflix does put a lot of shit out just by whoever. Yeah. By this comedian, that yeah, comedian. Absolutely. It's not always the, the no. endless comedian. No, not True. at all. Absolutely. But I'm sure some of them comedians took that five hundred. I'm, I'm sure they took I'm sure they took less. Yeah. Yeah. I could uh Netflix has since responded to the lawsuit with a statement provided to the rap by a spokesperson. We care deeply about inclusion equity and diversity and take any accusations of discrimination very serious all right i'm done with this i'm done with this because that's what you're supposed to say when <laughs> yeah. wait no that's what yeah. they have in the pr department is already typed out just yeah. just gotta hit send right yeah yeah it's true <laughs> yeah all right uh enough about enough about netflix uh what else do we have well taylor swift's back at it again have you seen the latest and greatest news uh, she dropped another classic. Taylor versus Big Machine yet again. Yes, and Scooter specifically. Scooter Braun. Yeah. Uh, he's basically blocking her from being able to use any music in any type of documentaries. Allegedly. Or live. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, and and this main beef is from her being scheduled to perform at the American Music Awards. Yes, I believe that's the awards ceremony. The AMAs, uh, and she claims that. Uh, Big Machine and Scooter Braun are not allowing her to perform any of her old records or hits in fear that she will be able to repurpose and repackage them uh, as a separate audio collection than what Big Machine has, is contracted to deliver. Well, she's been that's very adamant saying that that's what, exactly what she's going to do. Yeah, yeah she, she said she, that. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to take all of her old shit. She showed and, her, and and she showed her it. She showed her hand like an idiot. And then Big Machine, which is titled correctly, said no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of why I don't really understand the beef. Now, since then, Big Machine has responded. And they've said that we have 
we're not stopping her from performing any of her old songs and we don't we're not even in our legal right to do so both her and her team are aware of that so we're confused as to where this is coming from i don't believe that (laughs) (laughs) Uh, no they could no i'm sure they could definitely stop it Um, for the exact reasons that taylor said like because she could re-record her music, her old music, as live music. But to just to perform it, it and to put it out are two totally different things. That's true. If she just wants to perform it, sure, whatever. Right. But if you're recording it and then putting it out to sell, even though that's odd because you're selling tickets. I always thought if you do a bunch of covers at your show, if you owe anyone money because you are making money off of that. But You do, but that goes into uh, performance royalties, ASCAP and BMI that collect based on I'm saying just algorithms. if you do it, if you don't record it. I'm just going to do a no, bunch of covers. Still, that's why oh, venues wow, okay. uh, pay a ASCAP and BMI licensing and CC gotcha. licensing. That goes um, to that. Well, yeah, so I don't really see what, what everything's up in arms with this. I can, well, yeah, I, I would be curious to know if they own the publishing to the songs, because that's, I think, the only way that they could stop it. But being that she's going to re record the songs and put them out, it doesn't sound like that they do. So. She's not using the master, you know, the master recordings at the live show or in the Netflix thing. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's where the business of music just gets really confusing. Yeah. Like when it comes to who owns what and what's allowed and what they're entitled to. Uh, especially in cases like these where any of the public remarks delivered, you probably take them all with a grain of salt uh, when two parties are in a war. And Taylor and Scooter have been in a war, so... I don't know what to take as what. I don't believe anything that Big Machine says. And Taylor Swift, in my opinion, is going to just go to the artist sympathy vote thing like she went to here. I don't know who has the right to do what exactly. I just know that from what I hear about this contract, yeah, I wouldn't imagine Big Machine allowing her to record anything that they have anything to do with. We've been beefing. Right. We've been beefing for years. We just beefed. Y'all just trashed me. Y'all just did mad shit. Why would I let you record a thing? Right. Why would I let you perform a thing? Fuck you. Perform your new shit. <laughs> yeah. The performance yeah. is, I guess, like an artist of the decade thing. So that, I guess, would be why she doesn't want to perform her new shit. Yeah, you'd have to um, do. Oh, well, then turn shit. it down. <laughs> turn it down. <laughs> I'd be saying, I'd be giving that advice to people as like what I deem to be good advice. And they always laugh at me like, yo, if you don't want to do something, don't do it. Yeah. Or even if you want to do it. And you can't do it. Maybe you shouldn't. Yeah. If you can't do it the way that you want to do it, don't do it. Yeah. And that's, I listen, I, I normally stand with Taylor in her artist versus machine fights that she goes through. Because she sounds like she makes sense. But if you sign a bad contract like most of us have done, you got to wear what comes with signing a bad contract. It doesn't matter if you're the biggest musician in the world. You signed some shit mad long ago and you gave up your rights to your biggest records. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. And, and, <laughs> and they won't allow you to purchase them back. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. And you have Gotta to feel, that. even though I'm obviously very pro-artist, I do understand the business side of it, too. Like, if I own this shit and you're trying to fuck me, no. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I get it. I don't think that either of them are particularly wrong if, you know, the way that they're it's describing like- it is true. It's a lesson for every artist, even the biggest ones get fucked. Yeah. Look what you're signing. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest ones probably get fucked the most. Without knowing, because they're making so much money, they think they're not getting fucked. Right. <laughs> you know, or sometimes they're, they're, they're worth a hundred so million and still not realize they're really worth a billion. Or sometimes right. they're making so much money that they don't care about the money they're not receiving. Oh right. well, yeah, out of sight, out of mind, ignorance is bliss, yeah. all that shit. But mm-hmm. you're still worth more than, even if it's at the most money you'd ever need, you're still worth more. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's all. But no one ever does anything by themselves, so it's kind of you know you have to give credit to the label and school oh, no, for the I, work that they I'm did. Saying, even after everyone gets paid their just due times ten, you're yeah. still getting fucked out of what you're really worth. But um, sometimes it's not getting fucked. If the people did the work, they deserve to be con- con- I'm uh, saying when compensated. when a they label is compensated, constipated. now they should be constipated. <laughs> There's medicine <laughs> for that. That's it. Uh, I'm saying when the label is constipated more than uh well no doubt they should be no doubt <laughs> yeah well, i guess we'll see how it all plays out how does a label get compensated more than they should be without you signing something 
Oh, I'm saying morally. I'm not saying contract wise. Oh. Morals. <laughs> <laughs> There's no morals in yeah. business. <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying what an artist is really. Worth. Oh God! <laughs> All right, fuck that. <laughs> um, and listen, bottom line, I wasn't watching the AMAs anyway. Same. I wasn't watching the AMAs. Well, I certainly wasn't like watching Taylor Swift. I definitely Swift wasn't watching a Taylor <laughs> Swift performance. You guys weren't, weren't watching Sierra host them? No. 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 <laughs> is she hosting? I think so. And the VMAs decided to let Alicia Keys host again? They must have felt like she did a grand job last year. The Grammys. Uh, she hosted the Grammys uh, before, not the VMAs. Whatever award She did much she better hosted, hosting than They're, they're did letting her host again. again. She did a good job hosting the Grammys. I think she did. Yeah, I think we had jokes about her playing the piano, but then yeah. she did it, and it was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. No, no, she killed She killed that. the piano shit. She I had jokes that, because her hosting was her tossing it to mad fucking iconic friends. That's awesome. <laughs> Which was fine. <laughs> I, I like it. Yeah. And here's it's like a Caliber Diana performance. Diana Ross, Tracy Ellis Ross. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I love all of them. Yeah. And won't boo you there. But, I mean, with the VMAs, though, I like a comedian that's going to say some funny. Grammys, get that off. That's cool. You did a great job. Right. Give me a comedian. I mean, they got it's writers, the VMAs. Though. It's a little more lighthearted than the Grammys. But they got writers. She's going to get some jokes off. That delivery means a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know if she was killing the joke delivery last time. <laughs> oh, no, she's hosting the Grammys again. Oh, see, we're all wrong. I just said the VMAs. She's hosting yeah, Which one? Someone just told me the VMAs. Yes. I said VMAs, and y'all corrected me and said the Grammys. Oh, then fine. No, yeah, have a blast with the Grammys. Yeah, that was so my she mistake. She hosted the Grammys before. She's yes, hosting, this is her second year yeah, in a are. row hosting the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, Congratulations, come on, sir. Kings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like Killing it. the content. I'm still not watching the AMAs. <laughs> I don't think I've ever I watched, watched the AMAs. AMAs since I think Bobby Brown performed. <laughs> I don't even know what the AMAs is. American music. Anytime well, I know what that is, yeah. but I don't know what, like, What's who American do they represent? Like, America. America. Parks. Uh. Here's, a, here's a jewel for you, Parks. <laughs> bust, bust Anytime the word American is inserted, <laughs> Shady. Not just, just to let you know who it's people. for. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Parks. But wait, who, 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 who do they exactly serve? <laughs> well, the oh, Grammys man. don't who represent Black people either. If, if it was, it was, it would be. a good guy, man. It would be the music awards. That's all it'd be. American music awards. Now it's the American. Well, guess why it couldn't just be the music awards? I'm they needed, agreeing with they you. They needed a reason to trot Elvis out there. Yeah. <laughs> Where's for the, Elvis? For the 50th year in a row, are right? Vegas. I can't believe white people tried to make us fucking buy into Elvis. What do you mean? Elvis is a fucking creep. What do you mean what I mean? Read up, dude. Watch a doc. He's definitely a creep. What do you mean what I mean? He ain't the only one. No, listen. Shit was wild back then. I ain't just saying the white people neither. All then. music was wild before I was born. Shit is still wild. Like still the wild, 70s yeah. and 60s and 50s. Yeah, now they try to hide the wildness. The 90s were <laughs> 2000s. <laughs> the 90s might have been might might pale in comparison to the 70s. Mm, no. 1000%. I uh, believe what Quincy wild. Jones has to say. I, I believe too. what he has to say. I do too. I don't care what fucking Mary and KC was had going on. Nothing you Whatever, ma- come on, match me decade for decade, R- and I'm and I'm R- gonna. Kels, Kels kind of takes the cake. Yeah, he held the '90s down for nastiness and the 2000s and the 2000s. They just caught him. Like, yeah, word. <laughs> he had some longevity in that bullshit. Yeah, they just caught him last week. His run was impeccable. Marvin Gaye's dad shot him. That was '80s, '80, I think '90. Mm-hmm. Fuck when it was. <laughs> you yeah. win. No, true. No. My Kells is nasty. <laughs> I don't want to get into my next example of. <laughs> I, I have a next example. James Brown. And y'all are talking Might about. Be the only y'all, wow. y'all are talking about. We can't. Nobody beats Kells in a nasty list of. Come on, we're not having that conversation. You got. You win. Mm. You win. Kells was fucking twelve years all over the world. Can't. What's homeboy's name? The uh, the white dude from the fifties too. He married like his fourteen year old cousin. All of them. Woody Allen. <laughs> Stepdaughter from the fifties. Stepdaughter. That was wild too. Jerry that wasn't music. Jerry Lewis. Maybe. Yeah. Great yeah, balls of yeah. fire. Whoever sang that you song. Can't Jerry st- Lewis. You yeah, can't Jerry steal Lewis. rock and roll and marry your, your daughter. That's Apparently, you can. It happened. A lot happened back then, fellas. It was nasty. Yeah, it was still nasty. wild. A lot of nastiness. Um. What else is going on? that's really important this weekend. Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Private workout supposed yes. to be allegedly happening today. Right now. He's throwing yeah. that shit all over the place. We don't know that. You don't know if he's throwing that shit all we over We don't the know that's happening right now. Oh, you must not yeah. follow him on Instagram. Why what happened? Happening? He throws the football on Instagram. I'm sure. I'm only They talk. say he works out <laughs> regularly, so. I'm sure yeah. he does. But only. this shit all seems really uh, 
questionable. Now that we have some more in information wash. about this thing, because last time we were, well, we were recording and the news just broke, so we felt obligated to share it, and that was the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that we have a little more information, how do you gentlemen feel about the optics of it all? Shady. Why do you feel shady? What do you think uh, is shady? Okay, so normally NFL workouts are on Tuesdays because that's when players, coaches, scouts okay, I, have I, off. Are off. I, I saw all that, but we're talking about scouts. Yes. Yeah. Scouts. scouts, you know what they do on Saturday? You know what happens on Saturday? College football. Mm-hmm. And we're about halfway through the season, so they're there's, scouting there's, there's heavily. There's this thing called game film. <laughs> you, yeah, can, well, you can watch a game. It's different, though. <laughs> I feel what you're saying. I don't think it's no shady, no GMs or head coaches would be there no, on a Saturday. You say not. of course not, but Colin said I can't wait to see all the GMs and head coaches. I don't know if he said that to be sarcastic or condescending, knowing that they wouldn't be there I hope the, it was the day before a game. <laughs> no, he knows that they. Won't I don't know yeah. what a uh, GM or a head coach is spending their bye week looking at Colin Kaepernick throw a ball. I don't know what professional athletes he's going to have in there with him to kind of. Catch the ball. Highlight his ability. Right. There's a bunch of reasons why this is uh, why this just has sham written all over. Well, it. I don't it's think it's shock. Uh, we fell for whether it, it was so, a Tuesday so or not. There would have been no professional athletes at this. Well, no, because you would have a receiver or someone there that would yeah. be no, your uh, partner, of, of your course, but partner. not someone that's actively on an NFL team. That's not true. That's not, why, why is that? I don't think, Fam, I don't think any, that's. I don't even I don't think, think that's allowed, no matter yeah, who it think, is. What are you talking about? From an active team can go work out at a scout shit with some random QB. Yeah, they, they would not from any uh, current teams. No, that, that's hard some, to say. I, maybe some players. That are I think there'll be some. Yeah, some. It's in Atlanta. He could probably get some one of their receivers to come catch a ball. I know. I'm telling you. I think that you can't even do that contractually. Oh, that may be true. I don't think you can do that. All right, Avengers. What else do you think? Yeah, I want to argue with Parks about a rule. What else do you think? That's impossible. Uh, no, I, of course it would have been better on a Tuesday. Uh, but I think teams will send actual scouts. I don't think don't they're going to so. look this over. They yeah, will. it says the Patriots will send a scout. They will send a scout, but is that going to be the Giants, there? a team representative. So we don't know who, which They're going to be sending their guys, You guys don't think this will be filmed? Like, this is what I'm trying oh, to no, figure out what people are saying be, that. It's going to be released. Like, head coaches can watch this. It's yeah. not the fucking 70s where you have to go to the actual Georgia game to watch the Georgia football player. So you, so you think, Rory, that there's a realistic shot that Colin Kaepernick will get a job with an NFL team after the showing? Yeah. I think so. Because I think the NFL has kind of put themselves in a corner – on a gambling tip because Cap could come out looking like the greatest QB ever and there's footage. I do think that it's and a... Uh, if you do that and he doesn't get on a team, now you're digging yourself deeper into a pit that you kind of got out of when he uh, signed that deal. I do think that there's that a NBA chance that shit. he could get signed by a team, absolutely. I don't think that they're putting him in the best position to win, intentionally. I think they're putting him in a position to fail. I agree. Not even best position to win. I think they're... Covering their tracks the same way we know the NFL to do. What do you now, mean by covering their tracks? He already signed an NDA. The, the deal is done. Like, they could have just brushed this on. It could never have been spoke about again. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, but the public doesn't feel that way. But, yeah. What do you mean? What do I mean? So you think they're going to have If the NFL out? never spoke about it again, the public would still feel exactly how they feel about Colin Kaepernick. We haven't okay, seen this. Okay, have, so let me you, finish my point. Okay. Let me finish. And you okay. And we haven't seen this man play in three years. The sentiment has been the same for three years. Collusion, conspiracy, it looks nasty for the NFL. This workout, Rory, I don't care how he could go sit in there and throw 700 yards. The NFL teams can say, we saw him, we don't like him, we don't need it. Now it's not really about uh, collusion or blackballing or now we that's have, not, it's, it's too saying, much. Now we have nice. evidence to say, why we don't want to fuck with you, even though for the last three years you knew we didn't want to fuck with you. No, no matter and what, they gave him three days but head, the, but heads the, up, No matter like what happens, days, no matter what, what happens with that. Not to even call, for, 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 for him to find out the same way that I found out. Right. Come on now. Adam Schefter tweets. I just know that one and one don't make two all the time. I, hear, I don't have to I have all the details. Saying, I hear what you're saying, but the thing is. If I, you want me to work out, call me. This footage, <laughs> this, this footage will be made, I think, available to the public. Sure. So if we're sitting here and we see him looking good, it's going to be hard for the NFL to say, oh, he doesn't look good. It's like, no, he looks great. And even if we don't see the footage, there'll be a bunch of sources that say, yo, he was balling out, and it's just going to cause way more conversation for the rest of the year. Instead of the NFL just shutting the fuck up and trying to let it die, they're adding fuel to the fire. It's too much of a gamble. Fam, when he kneeled, he was coming off 
like one of the best games he ever had. Like, mm-hmm. well, the public would speak. They, they, they're not going to speak any higher of him than they were right. when he kneeled. That's not my point. But you, but uh, to your point, it's been some years since that, and so now we need to see how he looks today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, y'all are saying, or Rory's saying, somebody is saying, oh, you can't quiet what the public thinks. If he balls out to the public, it's going to say he balled out. Yeah, I agree with you. So when has the NFL ever given a fuck about the public saying anything? You're, what you're just saying that that's what. What are you talking about? You just contradicted your whole point. You're you're saying that they're doing this because of the public's point. When I said they, he signed an NDA and they're trying to brush it under the rug, you said, well, the public's still talking about it, so they have to serve the public. You just contradicted your whole point. No, I didn't, because I'm saying they never have given a fuck about the interest of the public. That's not so saying... So what is this? Pardon me, Rory. That's not saying that they do not take into account what the public is saying. They don't... Interest. Yeah, if you try to feed that interest... But if you only take the interest... Is feeding the interest is what you're saying. No, you're not trying to understand what I'm saying, and I am saying something. If you take the public's in, uh, interest into account only to force feed your interest, then it's not taking their interest into account. That's what right. I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah, I do think they said, all right, we know how the public feels. We're going to hold this workout, not to try to give him a job, but to quiet that up and to divert attention from the real reason that we don't want to give him a job. That's Correct. what I'm saying. Correct. Just not contradicting that's myself. Not, you were th- saying. That's not quieting anything. That's just restarting the conversation and bringing it right back to where it was when it was at the height of every fucking day on ESPN. And I also disagree. Uh, I, disagree I disagree with that yes. too, especially disagree because disagree they only gave him three days or four days or whatever notice. Like, you're I'm not no, putting guys, it in, I'm not in talk, a good I'm not position. talking about w- what they're going to talk about. They're just going to talk about it no, no matter no. what the fuck happens. It's a ga- If you're going by your point, it's a super gamble for the NFL to just bring this back Back into the public light if they had no interest in giving Cap a job. Yeah, but they, they skewed the gamble by giving him three days' notice. Okay. And to add... I, 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 not, I'm not arguing that and, point. I can't argue that. It's and, been three days. But I would like to add to that because I disagree with that. It can't get any worse than... Uh, whatever picture comes from this can't get any worse than Colin Kaepernick and his team putting out whatever report they put out two weeks ago stating facts. They had a report they put out that just stated a whole bunch of facts. I read it because the facts have been a bit blurred. I, I don't yeah. know what's what. Yeah. And the facts were, yo, he never he never, uh, never got called by an uh, NFL team, never took any money from an NFL team, never this, never that. Never, it, was like, it was like a bunch of facts, a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. I do not – I don't think that the NFL took kindly to it. Uh, I, think I didn't they're, see the I think they're a public perception type of business. So to step on that, here we are. Uh, I also don't think, like I said a little bit last week, that Hove was too thrilled with that whole rollout of whatever they did. I do think he had some influence there. Like some people are reporting, we can't prove it, but if they want to, if they want to appease Hove and step on some of this public shit and come up with a great reason to continue to do what they've been doing anyway, I think this is a great opportunity to do that agreed and and in closing i think it's a super gamble to do so because we're in 2019 where information footage uh reports is at an all-time high and it's very easy to find out exactly what the fuck happened at that workout and you're just opening yourself up to more scrutiny if he balls out that's yeah, all. Because they, they, in... they don't know if he's going to ball out or not. They don't. Yeah, and no, you they're... guys cannot tell me otherwise. Yes, I can tell you otherwise. I don't think they need You've to... been with Cap at his workouts? <laughs> no, but I've watched some of the uh, backup quarterbacks that have trotted onto the field this season. I don't think you need to hold a workout for people to say, Kaepernick is better than him. Mm-hmm. Kaepernick is better than him, and Kaepernick is better than him. I don't think, I think, I think, I don't think any, you need to work I out for that. I think anyone that is an actual coach of an NF, a, a billion dollar franchise would like to see someone throw the football before they say, yeah, come on my team. And that's my <laughs> point to you, Rory. None of these people have wanted to see him throw a football for three years. No, so no, now, black ball not to do so, so. so. I wouldn't say they didn't I don't, Yeah, to. I don't know about all they that. They didn't have the opportunity to see him. In Colin Kaepernick's version of the facts that went and out. And you don't know what was it as says, blackballed as he was because he signed, they went through a whole case about it. He was blackballed and they signed an NDA and a settlement. Scream, yes, man, find he, those facts, please. He he was blackballed. I'm sure there's plenty of coaches that wanted Cap, but he was blackballed. So, yeah, what are you saying? He's definitely capable of playing now. He's better than. I think he is too. Some quarterbacks that I've 
to all right, now I think you're controversial. But, but, but again, because if, if you acknowledge that he was blackballed I th- I th- because these teams didn't want to see him, no, 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 no. Tell no, me no. what this changes. Blackballed by the owners. I think plenty of coaches, GMs, scouts, players, whatever you want to call it, wanted Cap on their team, but he was blackballed by the owners. Do you think he's that's no longer, what the whole case was about? Do you think he is no longer blackballed by the owners? Is what I'm asking you. Uh, not. And that is my point. Mm. That that this. This question and your hesitance mm. to answer I don't is think, my point. Well, He's still fucking blackballed by the owners. That's that's not a way to win your argument when none of us were in the room, and I'm not answering that question because none of I'm us not can in the room. answer for facts. So don't say that your conclusion go mm, and, and go this way. No, we don't know that. But I think this workout, I'm not going to say as any proof that he's been blackballed or proof that he is not. But I, of course, of course, of course, this is all speculation. I just think it's a dumb move by the NFL to open themselves back up to this bullshit with this workout if they had no interest in getting Cap uh, on a team. So exactly who is in your top five MCs of all time? <laughs> I don't think Scarface is mentioned enough. I agree. I'm with you on that, actually. I'm playing Day 26. <laughs> this song is called Yo, Come In. No, can you just play Janae Calm Down, please? This song is called Come In. <laughs> I don't have that song. <laughs> you purchased it. I deleted it. <laughs> and no, when, you, when, your... you, when you delete it, they ask you, yo, delete it the yeah. whole from the yeah. library or just from <laughs> here? Nah, nah, you, you want it back later? Out of, get this <laughs> out of everything. my Serato, period. Yeah. You ain't check your cookies? Yeah. Um, While we were recording, the Texas Parole Board uh, unanimous, unanimously voted to recommend that the governor delay Rodney Reed's execution. So. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's great news. There's been a lot of information going both sides, but that tells me that you should probably delay execution regardless, you know. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Congratulations to Rodney Reed, fans of his, his family, his friends. Big accomplishment. Uh, I read something on uh read something on one of these gossip sites about a gentleman in Atlanta who uh, unfortunately, did not receive the same fate, and he was executed, even though there's tons of evidence to say he's innocent. Wow. Um, so, yeah, so you got to be thankful for shit like that, man. Shout out to Rodney Reed. Shout out to his attorney. Shout out to the judge. Shout out to everybody. Yeah. yeah hopefully, uh, truth hope will prevail. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Uh, whichever side it and falls. And when he does get out, I hope he sues the shit out of the state of Texas. If he does get out, you know. If he goes have, out one, one battle at a time. Yeah. One battle at a time. Good podcast today, man. What y'all doing this weekend? What we doing? Question. <laughs> yeah, it's a little early. We at. <laughs> Let me know. I'm gonna run to Beauty and Essex right quick. See what's going on. See what the vibe is. Oh, all right. I'll be I'll be right down that way. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh that, happened last to be. lap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a cut, but yeah, I'll be right around that way. I already know what the vibe is when the cut is scheduled for Friday. Right. And I had to push it because y'all was late. I know. I apologize. And I have to pay that time. Yo, it takes you. F- it takes two hours to drive around the block in Midtown. Yeah. Are you new here? <laughs> I try to avoid Midtown on podcast days. As you should. And yeah. all days, really. <laughs> yeah, but I had to go in there and get fit for the uh, chinchilla to the feet, man. Sick okay. of these niggas. Oh, my God. I'm sick of these niggas. Peter's going to kill you. Yo. Chinchilla to the feet. To the feet, small. You got to just stop listening 59 to certain inches. type of women. Yeah, we're... 59, more, 59. Like, think, oh, giving no. you this false confidence. Wait, hold up. Hold up for a second, Roy. Let me turn your little song down for a minute. <laughs> Yo, you probably seen a lot of chinchillas out there. Not 59 to the feet. You ain't seen 59 inches to the feet. Okay. You seen a lot of bomber jackets. Mm. <laughs> a bomber jacket? Fur is nasty. Nah, that's what niggas do with the chinchillas. I've seen a million of those bomber chinchillas with the hoodies because you just can't afford for it to be longer than that. Just and those was, those was cool for a minute. When niggas was in cheetahs, <laughs> no, I'm off. All of dope boy niggas know, ran to cheetahs with the bomber chinchilla hoodie jacket. I wouldn't jackets. call that a bomber jacket. Well, That's what's why. it called? It's like a chinchilla North Face. It's like face. half a chinchilla. chinchilla it's a chinchilla North, North Face. It's like half an animal. Let me tell you something. I'm sick of these niggas. 59 inches to the feet. Just let me know when with, you get it. With a heel. So I could kill you. Kill me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you was going to match them and y'all just hit the streets. No, nah, Maul got the old one from the Rockefeller days. No, nah, I don't have a fur. <laughs> you going to kill me for getting a chinchilla? Uh, yes. Why? Absolutely. But why? Everything you do in your post-rap career. (laughs) (laughs) Every time you try to look like a rapper, every time you try to look like a rapper as a media person, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to make it my duty to kill you. I'm going to kill you for everything in your post-rap career. (laughs) Everything you do. Anytime I attempt to look cool, 
Anytime I attempt to look good, you just can't you just can't get the chinchilla though? Like, oh, but God. why? Come on, you can't get the chinchilla, man. You won't tell me why, and and tell our audience we have a podcast. They're listening. No, it's just, Same thing I said last week. Stop doing all the rap shit after you say you retired. Yeah, like you so that's the only reason y'all saying that is because yes, it's like stig- stigmatized. You're gonna get a chain next. It's stigmatized rapper stuff. I, yes. Yeah, I want to know what type of chain you get. That's yes. when I really want to find out shit. where you. You at. know that's rapper shit. Joe doesn't do things because they're rapper you things. Do that, you know, that's rapper shit. Now, what you can say about Joe is that I'm typically late to the party. No, I, that's rapper shit, though. You're not like a fur connoisseur. No, this is my first fur. Yeah, it's rapper shit. I haven't seen any of the rappers that I like a lot in these furs. Every this might be the fur. first time that a rapper that can rap to this this level steps out like that. <laughs> no, it's them. not. It's well, definitely well, not. Name one. Niggas been wearing furs for Name one. Name Hove one rap. Name one rap. No, I've never seen Hov and Chinchilla. Hov is more than Chinchilla. I've never, first. First. I've, I've never seen him. I've never seen him. At some point in his career, I'm sure he had. I have no. never seen him. Actually, I know. I think give he had me, a thing Give me one that. rapper that has worn a fur that raps better than Joe. What? I said give me one rapper what that has mean? worn a fur that raps better There's than Joe. There's a bunch of rappers that wear furs that rap better than Joe. Name one. Name one. Just one. What are you talking? See, look, I keep question? telling you what I'm talking about. <laughs> I keep telling you what I'm talking about. But, but I don't even understand that question. I know you don't. I know you, you don't. But you're not a rapper. No, not now. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be wearing it. Uh, Justin Bieber, right there. Ross, big boy. Kanye. This nigga always gonna go to his Ross bag. He that's swear Ross rap better. Yeah, he got the canary More, yellow. I would hate Kanye to tell rap you better that. than you. Ross doesn't rap better than Joe. Mace Boy. raps better than you. I I know you keep saying that, but he don't. And neither does Mace. <laughs> 50, 50 neither raps does better Pharrell, than you. Kanye. Neither does 50. Safari neither raps does better than Kanye, you. Snoop. Neither does That's Safari. Not, <laughs> neither does Snoop. Snoop. Really Snoop None of these. Than you. Pharrell raps better Y'all than you. Y'all naming a bunch of people that have made much better music than Joe in his career. But I'm not rolling with that. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas just rap better than Joe. I'm not rolling. Who's Ma- that? Macklemore. Nikki. Nikki raps better than you. That's uh, ten shillings aren't brown, Rory. <laughs> neither, neither is Macklemore. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. But they have something in common. They oh wait, all, Jason all Derulo. Rappers. All right, I give it up. I they give it up. <laughs> now I give it up. Now Derulo, so Derulo is in one. But they all rap. You and Derulo share some bitches. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Y'all, yo, y'all kind of look alike. No, too. but I'm telling you. Okay. Right. Look, that. you mad about it? No, I don't. I've never so then, why are you just brushing me off? No, I said I don't know. But but I said I know. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, fuck All right, here. so Safari is the one that's making you do this madness, right? Listen, only Jason Derulo and Joe Name. If anybody else, <laughs> anybody else, got to relax. Yo, this was a great podcast. Everybody, not really. Every, <laughs> no, it's it, not. It was a cool. It, it, was, had, it had some highs. Yeah, it had a lot of lows. Peaks and valleys. Highs. Peaks yeah. and valleys. Yeah. Uh, listen, everybody, enjoy their weekend. Stay safe out there. Uh, until the next time, audio, Sariva Derchi, I bid you adieu. So long, goodbye. Uh, deuces have else niggas say goodbye Uh, keep us in your prayers lord knows we need to be there until the next time remember the girl is not cute she's young the girl doesn't have hips she's on her tippy toes she doesn't have ass she's sitting on a bed or a sink or a flat surface she does not have a sense of humor she grew up with brothers that's not woman's intuition she went through your phone she's not healing she's hoeing and last but certainly not least she's not protecting her inner peace She is avoiding accountability, failing to realize that her actions have a negative effect on not only her life, but other lives as well. Uh, I have a dinner reservation to get to, so I don't have time to get into our guy version of shit. Fuck that. Let's let's put women on the proper pedestal for a second. (laughs) Uh, Look at fake Joe. Hey. (laughs) Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Roars. I'm not. I'm not on this song. That's you. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we out of here, man. Talk to y'all niggas Wednesday. Goodbye.